set up now. I, I, like, the last, when we ever did, we did a stream last, last time, like, I was like, man, this is, this is so much better. It's pleasant. This mm-hmm. is so much better than the what we was working with. so much yeah. harder, bro. Bro. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to start going. But, you know, I was thinking about that in the wee hours of the morning, bro. I was thinking about how, like, you don't, you don't really have this love for the network, right? Or electricity. It's weird how it just like it, I know it sounds stupid. It's like it, it's completely inanimate, but you. It's like it's it's pushing everything, right? Something lights it. It still lights up. It comes from everything's a resource, no matter what, right? So even though like that Wi-Fi is like our creation, well, like you still need these electricity waves. You still need radio waves. You still need these things that that we use. But like you know, because like I was always thinking. I told you before how I feel like when you start – like every time I go start a car, I always feel like this car ain't going to start. Or when I flip a light switch on, I'm like it doesn't make sense that like this thing will always just flip on instantaneous like that. You know, and I was thinking like it's like you're, it's like you're using a resource basically. And people just leave these lights on forever. And you don't feel like, oh, that's the same thing as like dumping oil in water right? or littering. But it really is the same exact thing. Same thing as if you're letting just hot water run down to nothing, right? Over and over and over. That's not being reproduced. Or if you're just throwing away whatever, you're not recycling your plastic. Whatever it is, all these aspects, it's just wasteful, 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 wasteful. And you expect it. You expect every time. Like if your Wi-Fi don't work for one second, you're like, you know what I mean? You're like, what what am I paying this for? This piece of shit. (laughs) I I, I pay too much for this to be affected. And then you get one option. We talked about it before. You go with Comcast or you're going with Verizon. Monopolized market who get to control all the electrical grid. So I just really – I want like – you can – all of this is available, right? All the knowledge is available now. You could hook up solar to your house just off of YouTube and looking it up. But like it's hard work. You know, it's the same thing yeah. with, like, like I, I don't know how you feel about tech shit, but me and Steve always talk about, it. like, I hate having to troubleshoot things. Yeah. As far as tech going. I, I hate when shit <laughs> has no reason to not work. <laughs> That's right. It's like, what? And, and like, you go to try it, like, an hour later. It's like, everything I just fucking did, now it works. And then you just want to throw everything out the fucking window. But no reason for it. And, and like, uh, Steve's always talking about how he loves to troubleshoot these things. But for me, it's like, ah, I, I don't mind troubleshooting something in the physical form, right? Like, you can't make a shot. You can't make a jumper, right? Like, you can work on it physically. But, like, when right. it's something technical, you keep running this test. Then you've got to go to, like, these little specific chambers and adjust these little tiny things and tweak these little tiny fucking things. Just shit. over fucking whelming sometimes, man. And uh, then you think about, like, these cables right outside, how far they're running, and how good, like, they hold up for the most part. We've got all these fucking cables just running everywhere, random-ass people working on them, and for the most part, like, shit works. You could still flip a switch, it turns right on. Yeah, most of the shit is from, like, the 50s and shit. Yeah. <laughs> and very true, very true. Infrastructure, things like that. Infrastructure, yeah. old as fuck. Everything still works fairly well until a tree fucking falls. Bridge is still holding up. And, I mean, they say them, they inspect them, right? They do. But, like, how do you really inspect a bridge collapse? Isn't a collapse usually, like, yeah, it can from, come from wear and tear, but is it? it's usually, like, something went wrong. It can. It right? Can, it can, it's something went wrong. I think, it's both. I think, it could be both. One thing is, I mean, it's just something rust out. One key component rust out. It's fucked. And I did road work, so, like, we literally had to fucking shut down shit for them to do bridge inspections. And you ever, you ever been on Tidings Bridge? On like Which one's this? So if you go like straight up 95 north, it's like past Haverty Grace and stuff like that. It's fucking huge. You're like, I don't know, 500 feet off the fucking, off the water. And it's a massive fucking bridge. It runs like half mile. Dude, they shut the whole fucking thing down. And they got these motherfuckers up there in some sketchy ass little fucking, uh, oh my God, what the fuck is it? A little swing arm thing. Oh, the bucket, the, the bucket. Off the side. Yeah, except this was like an extended one, so it didn't go. It had like fucking three pin, three points. They literally were like under the bridge. Uh-huh. All these motherfuckers are like driving forward, and they're just dangling from this little fucking bucket. Yeah, I'm looking that. at it. I'm like, that looks like fucking death. <laughs> <laughs> the wind starts fucking blowing, and they're in this bucket like this. 
You yeah. sure you think it's going to break, Bob? No, nah, let's get the fuck up out of here. Like, <laughs> yeah, let's, I mean, let's you have to be compensated well. <laughs> Number think, one, right? You're like, <laughs> I think the like, uh, can you tie me to the bridge. Like, I think it, it heavily it. leans towards like like a, a old age for most bridge collapses rather than like structural integrity. <coughs> um, yeah, I think it all comes down to usually those a like the age like the uh, we have like bridges at this point fifty plus years old. Yeah, with no with like that you really can't do much about rusted out parts and yeah. shit. Yeah, I mean you have to take concrete, it apart. That's, yeah, concrete that's good. Concrete that's fucking yeah. what? Shut, yeah. shut it down and rebuild it over. The, the thing about what years. you're saying right there though, though, like in construction though, like it's such a common thing when you see people doing like those dangerous things that are like OSHA <laughs> unapproved because it's so much easier most of the time. So like that is super crazy and dangerous, but that's and actually that's, the it, easiest way. And it's OSHA approved. That's yeah, how they're supposed to do it. And, and that's you OSHA approved, it, right? They're literally like 500 feet off the fucking. Off Otherwise, the water. like think. About and what you just gotta do. In like, a fucking like four by four bucket. How even else do you do <laughs> that job? Just swinging and sh- yeah. That's so, the only way to yeah. do that right. job. Same thing with you like get a, a fucking helicopter or like a scaffold. Yeah. You could build. They got that scaffold that comes off, and then I you mean, can go under, yeah. and you can like walk on it like that. But that'd be yeah. a pain in the ass, right? Because the same they, thing. They have to be moving. They do. They do the whole bridge. Exactly. So many. The same thing with the window washers. Like you know, the people. They like some people got on those carts on the side. Some people are sitting on little two by four pieces of wood that have a rope going through the center of it. And they're strapped into the top, and they're just kind of lowering themselves see, down. See that? See yeah. t- that's different, though. That's different because that's straight up like you're doing a different level of safety. That's not I- any better convenience to that person. All right, so yeah, you I'll see you, what I, I mean? Be, like he's yeah, not cutting any. We're like, I'm, I'll see a window, right? And I'm like, okay, well, technically, we should build nine sections of scaffold to get up to this window, get underneath of it, and build it. Or we could build three sections of scaffold, get up to this side, climb up this angle, and we don't gotta build the rest of the scaffold and take it down and bring it or up here. Like it and, it's yeah. a little bit more dangerous, but you know you can do it. So you cut the corner, you know, it's technically yeah. not OSHA approved. And you're like, oh, maybe you should be tied off, but you just do it, and it's it like it's way easier. So, yeah, so that's what sucks. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I never, I haven't worked in construction, so like I'm, I'm sure when like when it's physical labor and you want to cut back on that, oh, it's not even about saving yeah. the company money. It's not about saving the Save company time. Back, it's time. about making it easier for you to get yeah. this job done. Yeah, you know? bro, but like oh, I've had oh, times man. right where like you're on a job. And like you've been working on like, you know, there's an eight story building and it doesn't have it doesn't have walls yet. So you could go right off the edge. Basically, they put up those like metal railings and shit. But you come up to this and like you're supposed to be tied off anytime you work within six feet of that. And then that you got to walk over for one fucking second. To Any, grab something, anywhere you're like, you go. Right. right? So like there's, there's times where literally like OSHA shows up or a foreman will show up and be like, you got to be tied off right here. And you're like, where do I tie off at? And there's nowhere to tie off to. Yep. Not a solid spot. Like you could tie off to this rail or something. Yeah. But that's you know what I mean. Like there's not. It's not like that. They built anchors all throughout this place yeah. for anybody that's working within six feet of the edge. Right. You know, and I got to put a window in. That's obviously the edge of everything. You know, so it makes it very difficult when they're saying tie off, tie off, tie off, and that's like like you can't always tie off the things. And, and when you can, it still sucks. On and off too, bro. That's the most annoying. Like oh working my. in that shit is the worst. So as soon as you take it off, you're taking it off, and then you're like, oh yeah, you got to go back over. Bro. You're like, nah. Every time I, I I'm in a JLG I'm basket, up. I'm like, why do I gotta wear this in a JLG basket? It just doesn't make sense to me. It feels like it's literally more of a hazard. This is like one of the things I do think is kind of hazardous. I understand if you were to fall out of that bucket, right? Like this thing would save you. But if you fall out of that bucket, like that's operator error. That means somebody tipped that bucket. That thing's not. You're never gonna fall out of that unless that thing is tipped. Like you know, on an operator doing that. But yet. When you got this thing in here, this bucket's only six six or eight feet wide, and you got two people in here. Sometimes you might have to get three. That's your word, my bad. Yeah. Oh, shit, man. That was a close one. <laughs> can't have shit. You get, two, down here. you get two or three people in this little six-foot, eight-foot area, and then you've got these things on the back, and you've got to tie this off. So there's like this rope. That, it's not like there's tension on the rope and everybody can <laughs> see it. It's just hanging. You get what I'm saying? And you're like working. You're trying to lift glass in this bucket with three ropes that are just hanging by your feet. Like, yeah. you would you like trip to on that shit like, no, glass like I, should, head and, yeah. I should be able to take this shit off for a second, you know, and really yeah, fig- only, figure out how this should be done properly. The only thing I, I, w- I would say is that, like, with things like that, like, you know, I mean, I think it, it becomes a, a rule when shit happens because something has happened. Somebody's and stupid. Then someone, yeah, so now and everybody then, has to pay the yeah, price. Yeah, I mean, like, it yeah. sucks. Well, but they're like, covering you know, like, their heads. But, like, and, like, no one should ever, like, you know, risk their safety for, like, 
that type of job. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to put sure. yourself first. So for it's like, sure. You know, oh, I yeah, just want to yeah, be yeah. safe as possible. You know? oh, like yeah, I said, bro. I never worked in construction. So, like, you uh, you have a fucking 12-hour day. You've been busting your ass all day. You got to build the scaffolding. Like, I could see it, you know? I oh, see bro, it. if it comes to a point like, where you nah, feel dude. unsafe 100%, you're not yeah. going to – I'm not – this ain't my company. You know what I mean? If I feel like it's unsafe, I'm not fucking doing so, it, period, bro. I'm so going to call for backup. But most of the time, like – you're good at what you do, you know, like you don't feel like it's unsafe. Yeah, you feel like yeah. you can do it. And then, bro, right. most of the shit, like how shit gets done in it's, this fucking economy is people doing shit like that. Like them fucking masonaries that are down there working so on the sky. It would take it's forever, so bro. If the, if the inspector was out there 100% of the it time would take, watching like this. Nothing would get done. Nothing would get done, like, bro. You know what I mean? Wall, put and there's shit that stays up. 100-year-old houses. So how do you explain places like Japan then? You know, see, like, they take a long ass time and they build good ass things. Well, like, I mean, uh, like, like one of the things, with, one of the things recently, you know, shit when uh, 2011, when the their, you know, one of their main highway uh, systems, yeah, no, no, they had, they had a, the tsunami and stuff, like pretty much took it out, and they had that bitch rebuilt up and back and running in three days. I thought that was China. You know, three days. That was Japan. That was Japan. That was Japan. Yeah. Yep. Japan well, see, is a sinkhole too, in the middle of the fucking road. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Next, you know, boom, fixed. Because we're built on work days. When the job, when the fucking contractor bids that job. They bid it to account for the amount of man hours that they're gonna pay. Mm-hmm. So they're like, "All right, yeah, this shit's gonna take fucking four weeks." The whole time, you can get the job done in fucking two, but they're gonna want all the fucking money they can. And if you can tell them that fucking person it's gonna take four weeks, and they're like, "All right, yeah, oh, that makes sense. It's a big job. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll pay it." Yeah. I can't argue with that. So, <laughs> so they're gonna fucking pay it. So you're gonna drag that shit out to get your fucking money because if you're done in two, they're gonna look like. I paid you for four. How the fuck are you done in two? Well, like then, it, then it's a problem. It, that's why it seemed weird that like you know like why wouldn't you have some type of like state-owned construction agency to like kind of carry out your own type of business within within you know yeah, like we got like, that's like what the capitalist is right? Is they're supposed to put yeah, that yeah, money around? Yeah. But then it goes to like the same companies every single year usually. That's they the thing. Contracts. It goes to like like White and Turner and shit like that. Alan like, Myers. They're getting bagged from the government. You know? oh, they're the man. one getting yes. con- it ain't. It ain't your dad that got some Mason Mason no. company or something, you know? No. But I, I mean, everything I've ever been taught is like, as far as construction goes, once you're an established company, you bid everything as if you already ordered it wrong once. <laughs> That's like how it's supposed to work. Like you're supposed to plan that even yeah. if none of this works out, I can still break even oh, or yeah, yeah. I, it's manageable my losses, because, you know? Because then you got the fucking the, the customer who will tell you the wrong shit. Or change their mind midway through, and you're accountable for that. A hundred percent, bro. Or he's like, "Oh, you crazy. said you said the foundation I, was already poured, built, poured in this house." And bro. there's the like, whole time you get there is no foundation. They're like, "Oh yeah, a hundred percent." Now everything you got is on back order because the foundation is getting poured. You want to handle that for me too? <laughs> Thanks, appreciate it. And you want to get the fucking house built because you want the money. You. So you're like, "Fuck, I guess I'll fucking do it." <laughs> I know a personal contract that was like that, right? With like not with me, but someone I know. They had done the work, and it was like one of their first contracts, so they didn't properly review it, you know? And like towards the end of the job, this guy basically started delaying like showing up and meeting them, right? So like they were – they had a couple days left, and the guy's like, I can't be there today. Come tomorrow or come Thursday. He doesn't show up Thursday. I'll be there Monday. He's pushing it back, right? Eventually, they finish this job when they go to cash out. He's got deductions on there. Come to find out in the fucking paperwork, it was like each day past the time that they said it would be done, it was a $300 day fine basically. So like they're trying to get the work done. He's pushing it back. Each day he pushes it back, there's another $300 in his pocket. But it was in the paperwork. Oh, you know? So, and yeah. they allowed it to happen. So it ended up being like over two weeks extra, that, thousands of dollars that were, you know, they were fucked on. So you could, you could be as good – as fucking anybody when you're starting a business at what you do most of that time it doesn't come down to the fucking work done it comes down to the fucking paperwork very true you yep. fuck up that paperwork <laughs> you're fucked no matter you could be the best fucking carpenter in the world <laughs> you fuck up the paperwork on a job your, your business is fucked no, when something's fucked somebody's up. gonna try and get over on you 100% of the time every, oh, every, yo, every, every time, time they can bro. fucking and, see it they're gonna do it and when the it. job is fucked bro you remember how it felt when that DJ came up and he just the whole room lost its energy yeah. that's how it feels when something's wrong on the job bro and it's like a big thing what, once everybody you go to put it in you go to put it in it's too big it hits the top everybody's just like 
the more right? Oh, you're gonna put it in, it goes right through. It's like five inches too short. You're like, oh, everybody, you just feel it. Everybody just, you just yep. feel it leave out, you know. And there's been like, I can go on countless times where like, you're right. It's a hundred percent of the time, bro. The person usually does try to get over on you, and oh, that's yeah. why they say Any like, fucking way they can, man. A couple hundred thousand, like, you bro, know, like, like I've done big ass showers, right? Like. 10,000 plus, right? Dollar showers, right? <laughs> there could be one thing wrong. Once you already know how they're, these, they're, they're you already know how these customers it. are, right? Price. So like on certain things, like certain jobs, you can hide things, right? A lot of construction time, you like know how to hide things. Yep. Well, something like a shower, it's a finished job, basically. Paint, silicone. There's yeah, nothing hide like anything. <laughs> but on, you know, on the shower, like if there's a chip in the shower, it's gonna be seen. Yeah. There's gonna be an angle in here that you're gonna see. There's just no way to hide. It's inside. It's gonna be with light under it. Like it's over for you, basically. Yeah. So you approach this person and you're like, look, this is what it is, basically. You know, we can take this out and replace it, or we can do this, and you're never going to notice it unless you really come up to it and be like, you know, this person agrees to it, says, okay, that's fine, do that. You do it, and at the end of the job, they're still like, they look at it and they're in their life. They're like, no, nope, I'm not happy with that, bro, you know, and you done put thousands of dollars out. To get this, get this, the, the material, the time, the labor could be an hour away from where you're at. Yeah. And somebody's like, I'm not paying. And you're just like, oh yeah. my God. But after you done talked about it and everything, bro, it's, it's the worst mm-hmm. feeling yeah. ever, man. I still do construction, but I don't have to deal with people anymore. And that is my favorite fucking part about this yep. shit. Yep. <laughs> I, I, I interact it. with customers, bro, but I don't deal with money. Yeah. So that's yeah, like, that's, that's the part that I like. We're like, problem. so if they ever get mad at me about anything, I'm always like, I right, listen, I show them the app. Yeah, I don't send I'm like, look, I'm like, look, I literally have an app. They send me where to go. I come. I'm like, right. I don't have nothing to do with pricing or timing or, yeah. or nothing. You know, I'm like, yep. I'm like it's the, so nice when you can say that. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, I don't, you that's, know, I don't want me. Yeah. I'm not, and I don't make, and like, it's crazy, bro. Cause like one time, like the middle of the night. I come like fucking like 5 a.m. to this guy that broke this door to an apartment. And I fucking put this put this door in. Went down to the shop, put this door in like 5 a.m., 6 a.m., something like that. And uh, it was like $800, bro, or some shit for like emergency service and every middle of the night. Yeah. And, bro, this guy was so mad at me. He was like, that's dirty, man. He was like, that's dirty how much you're charging people. He was like, you keep all that? I was like, I don't keep none of it. He was like, how much you keep then? I'm I was like, like an hour yeah. I'm like, dog, like, where are you even getting off right now? Like, why'd you call me to come in? Like, you should have said no yourself. To the, we told you the yeah. price. You should have said no. You know what I mean? If you were just like, I felt like this motherfucker was like about to basically like, let me put the glass in and smoke me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like, he was mad. It just how it works, you know? shit. <laughs> kick, 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 kick me down. You try to rob me. I'm robbing you, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this shit's expensive. I mean, like, and like, the funny thing is people do it with any amount of money. Like, uh, I don't work in construction. I work in like a, print, you know, a little print shop. Um, and like we used to do like this over the counter service, people could come in and just have whatever they want done. So like, I recreate this guy's books for him, you know. And when you're like setting stuff up like that, you know, like you're gonna have one or two that like you didn't get quite right the first time because you set that shit up. So like I, you know, you had like one or two I didn't, you know, that he didn't pay for, and I gave him all the good ones, and he just like, I'm like, yeah, you want these two kind of like not so good ones? Like, there's nothing really wrong with them. You can still use them. He just like, well, I'm not. He's like, well, I'm not, I'm not paying for the full price for this. You messed those up. I'm like, you, you like, I still gave him his ten books like that they fucking I wanted. Gave you what you ordered? Yeah, I was like, bro, you, you, I, you're not paying for anything. I'm giving you these for free as a favor. We talking? He's like, yeah, but you can't fix those. I'm like, well, if I fix them, you're gonna fucking pay for it. I'm like, right. I ain't cuss, but I'm like, you're gonna pay for it. He's like, he's like, no, why do I pay for them if you mess them up? I'm like, sir, uh, you're first of all. This is you got what you paid for. Right. That's this it. Is, this is what you That's got. it. Would you yeah. like an additional? Uh, I was like, I'm giving you these for free. For free. Or I'm gonna throw them away. And he's like, all right, fine, I just left. And I'm like, what the fuck was that? Like, is, any, people any, just like, try to get anything you from just, you. You should have just sold them to him. Like, yeah, I'll give you. Yeah, I'll like, give you these two an additional ten bucks. The whole thing. Is, <laughs> they he'd have felt. He'd have felt like he got off. Or, got pay, over on you. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, I only paid ten bucks for these two. Yeah, and like when I price stuff up at my job, like I will price things up, like I have to go through someone else to send them the price. And then they approve it before yeah. it gets sent off, which is my boss, the person that owns the shop. So I send them to them, and then they'll send it back. 
And show had like four or five hundred dollars on top of that. Just like yeah, I'm just like oh shit. Like, See they pay. Fuck it. I'm just like oh shit. You know like what the I damn I was I was charging them a lot. You know I was charging <laughs> not enough. <laughs> yeah. So it's like. Right, and, and that's the cool thing with me. Like with my people, like with, like with our orders, they don't see none of our shit in house or like what the work order looks like. And when people ask for itemized shit, we're just like, yeah, we don't do that. Like, <laughs> and they're just like, okay, <laughs> it's just you know, I, I, I can get it, man, because businesses will try to get over on you. Yeah, try to get over you oh, for sure, yeah. bro. It just, it just sucks that they do it to you and me, who have nothing to do with price. I just, you know, that, you know, but that's the good thing that we're saying about like yeah. I could just be honest, you know. So I tell them like, look, like it's not. I mean, I with every trade is different. But, like, with Glass, bro, you could call around to every single one. You're going to try to save $100. Like, as far as small jobs go, yeah. like, something in your house, like, you're saving 100 at some place, you know? So it's not, like, big discrepancies. Discrepancies? Discrepancies, there right. <laughs> so I can always tell them, like, look, yeah, like, you can call somebody else, but, like, it's really not going to save you that much. We're, like, plumber, you know, or electrician. Like, you could get hundreds on dollars of a different quote, like – or if, like, it was a commercial yeah. job, yep. then, yeah, you would get different quotes from shit like that. But, like, yeah. residential, me coming here and fixing this fucking window right here, like, somebody might charge you three, somebody might charge you 250 And And there are right? businesses. It's not really going to be like that. There are some businesses that, like, are big enough. They have enough clientele, enough jobs that we're, like, they don't have to come and get and satisfy every single person that calls me, you know? Like, I don't right. need it. Yeah. Then, then there's yeah. that guy who's, like, oh, I'm just trying to get my business off the ground. Well, He's going to do all right, whatever. I'll, I'll cut you that 50 because I want you as a client, you yep. know? You know, trying to yep. keep you and trying to, like, get those smaller jobs here's my card call me next time cheaper that's why i was saying w earlier like it's once you're established that you can charge yeah. 200 plus for uh, yeah, like no, act now, like you lost now materials you're for the name at that point yeah, yeah, exactly. it's rotor exactly. rooter i mean and that is the classic like, that's what yeah. they always say like oh i can't believe you got it done that quick and then they you know like the classics like well do you want somebody to take longer right because you don't pay like i just had that plumber guy come over right like me and this plumber guy working there he's like 80 i give him 100 because I'm like, bro, I know I'm not paying you for what you had to do. He's like, I only had to do this for a second. I'm like, I'm paying you for the knowledge, right? Like, right. even shit we didn't do, I got to ask you about that you could answer me. You know, like, this was worth 100 I probably don't need you to come ever again. That was worth $100. <laughs> you know? like, that's the best money I could bitch Meanwhile, you're going to pay somebody that is going to come here, do what he wants to do. Not like the guy. I take forever, drag it out. Bro, I ended up, call, ended up calling me like. that ain't broken. Exactly, bro. I would not listen Make to anything I'm and saying shit. and shit, mm -hmm. you know? Like, treating me like a dumbass. Like, I don't know nothing. I'm, I'm like, bro, like, I mean, I'm not saying I'm a plumber, but. Like, I can put two and two together, you know? You're telling me some crazy shit. And then you, he's pretty much like, this is what I got to do, $710. I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. And he said it in front of my neighbors, bro. I'm like, shh. You know what I mean? I want them to know about my L's. <laughs> you know, keep it down. And they was like, ooh. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, man. And I was telling them, like, look, you know, you don't got to do this. You can do this. Like, how much for this, basically? It's just like, this is what needs to be done. This is how much it cost. Like, there's basically was nothing to be said. I'm not working with you. I don't give yeah, a fuck. Like, nothing. And Take it or it. leave it. I get it. You know, because, I mean, customers are definitely difficult to deal with. But, like. I've always felt like I've always tried to go out, of, even like going further than out of my way to help somebody that comes in, like that comes in interacts with with like some print projects or something. Like I try to help you as best I can. This is you know? this is a <laughs> common thing, bro. Like here's the thing: I call somebody with a free quote. I do the same thing in my company. It's free quote. It's a common thing when it comes to free quote. I get called out to places all the time where people have no intention of me fixing the glass. I'll come out there. I'll get the size. They're like, "What was the size?" You know what I mean? And it's like, what am I gonna do? Be like. I don't know, or lie to him. I'm just like here, bro. If you wanna, if you wanna shoot your shot, here's this, here's the glass size. Like this is what you should order. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So they play you like this in different ways. But I come out all the time and like I'll be like, bro, like you could pay me to do this, but really, like you could go buy this caulk and from Home Depot and you could do yep. this. Like I'll be like, just run it right here and just make sure this is yep, sealed. All the time. You know yeah. what I mean? And then I'm like, it's a common but, thing. But so like this guy, he didn't want to do shit of that. He didn't want to do. It. He was acting like it was his. You know what I mean? He was acting like it was straight up his company, and he was gonna lose the money. Maybe that's how it works. Maybe that's how it works. I don't know, but maybe he gets commission. Off he the probably job gets commission. He wasn't acting like he wanted the job, though. You know, he was like pretty much. I was like, what the, I was like what does this mean? And he's like, well, I'll check out front. <laughs> you know, and like, he was an like Asian guy, bro, and he had like a mean accent too. So it was like he didn't smile. Oh, no, he's all about business, bro. This guy was like, business. yeah. He he was said, like, let's, let's. I'm like, do we gotta come this way? He's like. <laughs> it's like no explanations, nothing, bro. He ain't got time he for your shit, Mike. <laughs> like, yeah, you know what I mean? This is what the fuck you want. This is what we're doing, guys. This is how much it is. Yeah, all because like 
Just be friendly, man. You know what I mean? Just be friendly. It helps, it helps your business out in the long run anyway. Hey, bro, if he because came if you come in and been honest and then I tried it and couldn't do it, I would have called him. Right. Now I'll never call him. If I couldn't do it, I'll exactly. try it again I'm or call fuck somebody that else. that shit. You know? Like, when you come out there and help, you show that you were able to work with people. They'll call you like, oh, shit. You know, I got a big project next time. Let me for see, let me sure, see. bro. Hey, I know you're honest with me. So, you know, what, what's the price for this? Hell yeah, bro. bro I, go to, I do a whole apartment complex. they be like, send Mike. You know what I mean? Because, like, once you do a good job, like, they know. You know, it it's carries. Your reputation, it your carries, reputation is fucking yeah. more than anything else. else. Yeah, it carries a long way. And then, like. You know, in trades, you got people like they look at like there's people that get shit done and they do it a sloppy way. They're still respected, you know, because they like they still they're, it's like they're that more respected gets, by the bosses, though. I've seen guys the that are like they're put them on the most those dudes, they're like. building the most dangerous jobs. You know what I mean? Like they're doing the, they're doing, they're going to like the prisons, <laughs> like places that nobody wants to go to and shit, you know, like the the sewage factories and shit. And they just like whatever the job is, they're never like we shouldn't do it. They're just like, I'll smash this out. Let me like, go get they're it. They're doing done wrong, it. but like, they right. always just get it in. You know, yeah. like, that's a bosses, spot. Sometimes that's required for a job, though. It's like, all right, this place doesn't fucking matter. Like, we're, we're just, whatever. Just and, it really is. Money. It does. And and there is a spot for that, right? Yeah, you know the customer don't but, care how it looks. You, and, you don't give, they don't give a fuck. So and there's a spot. Just want it up. There's a spot for people that take a long time and do great work, right? There's like a yeah. spot for the all The office building, like the... But, but, but the here's nice, the thing. fancy office buildings and shit where yeah. it's like, like somebody caulking everything and they're going to be fucking But the ultimate, the ultimate, whatever it is, master of whatever trade, right? It's somebody that does good work and does it fast. Yeah. And the thing about the two people that we just named before, they can't do that. But the yeah. person that does good work and does it fast can do either one of those first two. Yeah. I can slow down and do good work. I can speed up and do shitty work. Yeah. Or, you know what I mean? But that person that goes fast, they can't slow down and do better work. No. And that person that slows down can't speed up and do better work. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like what masters, what they call it, is when you can like, – you work at at least a decent pace, yeah. you know, <laughs> and you do – you know, somebody don't got to go behind you on shit. Yep. Yeah. That's, it. that's so, what you pay $500 an hour for, and yeah. I, you know, like the shit like that. Yeah, that's what makes like – like like – the separation, like I mean, like because in construction, it's all—I mean, it's all about what you can do with your hands. It's your trade, you know. It's about your work, how it looks. I mean, as an electrician, is your wiring neat? Do you leave some slack? Is it easily readable? Can you follow this shit? I mean, concrete is yeah. it level? Does it look good? I mean, all those things. It doesn't look sloppy. You don't have extra concrete laying around on bricks and shit. I mean, like you know, what I do, like I pretty much—I mean, you—you you know, if there's a classic trope. It's like printers. What do they do? They just fucking jam. And suck. And that's literally this is what it is. There's people. That, I think it's funny because we have people who come in and their whole job is to fix printers who jam and suck. And I'm just like, man, that's a, such a shitty job. I mean, I don't even like dealing with this shit. And I don't even like, I don't even work on them. But like, all the stuff I work on with machinery and shit and what I gotta do to make like print look good, it's just all troubleshooting machines. Like it's just all like, well, this machine is making it look shitty. Why is it making it look shitty? Uh, let me tweak some knobs. Let me uh, do some different measurements. Let me do this. Okay, now it's looking good. Like it's like they and make the, a penny though. They make a little penny coming there and fixing those. Oh yeah, they right? do. Oh yeah, they do. You know. But like, I just think it's such, it's just such an annoying thing. Like I mean, like and it's a, uh, it's weird. I mean, like we talk about capitalism a lot. And with one thing with capitalism is that like you have very large and diverse specializations of pretty much everything. Yeah. There's a guy who designs a mug, and there's the people who uh, get the glass to make the mug. Then there's the people who actually make the glass mug. Yeah. And those are all six different companies. There's not one company that does one single thing. Yeah. It becomes like a monopoly. Yeah. But like, it's just weird that you have these guys come in and just fucking work on the worst possible machines in the world. I don't know if there's a, a worse machine out there than like a fucking <laughs> printer. You know. Like, come on. Like, it's, it's like, you ever, you ever seen Alpha Space? Like, yeah. where they, they take that shit, that the printer out, out back, and they fucking jump that bitch with the bats? <laughs> yeah. Yo, so I used to work at this one company when I was, like, 19, 20 or whatever. All they did was buy used electronics, and they re, they fucking flipped it. They would refurbish it and shit That's like just, that. They just and flip it, dude. But they would buy, like, office buildings who were, like, either upgrading or going out of business and shit. Yeah, they just want something to do with it. They don't want to recycle it. Yeah, they were like, look, we don't want to piece it out. How about, uh, you know, all this shit, give us, give us five grand. They'd be like, yeah, we'll come pick it up. So they go through every single fucking piece of equipment and refurbish this shit and sell it online. But some of them were, we had two guys that just worked on printers all day. They just sat in a chair and worked on fucking printers. All fucking day, and they look like the most dead inside people I've ever seen. <laughs> they just, Bro, I mean, like, well, hey man, how you doing? Today? Look, we, there's some really <laughs> low tier fucking jobs out there that some people like do, and, mm -hmm. I, and it's not even like necessary ones. 
There's not one single low tier job that's fucking necessary. That's the worst thing. Heart. Dude, it breaks my heart seeing that shit. You don't need a fucking printer repairman. Like what the fuck? <laughs> For desktop printers, like come on now, like they did all the printers. And this guy's they did miserable. Every printer, but this they guy's fucking... absolutely miserable. Yeah, like what the fuck? You know, like you don't need shit like that. We have so much. We have so much individualized labor that makes no fucking sense. And literally, that, that adds nothing but money to a circulation in the system. That's yeah. all it does. It doesn't help innovate shit. And it's, it's like it's like when they were talking about people who short stocks. Yeah. They, don't, they don't do nothing. They just bet that shit's gonna fail yeah, and make money off of it. It's the fucking that's legalized just gambling. Anywhere. Yeah. Oh you yeah, hundred percent. Like, yeah, this company fucking sucks. Yeah. <laughs> or, or the CEO got caught, you know, getting blown by a fucking hooker. I'm gonna short this stock because I know it's about to drop. Which leads me is how do we allow <laughs> Amazon to deliver the amount of packages they do every day in this garbage, bro? In this garbage, these plastic bubble mailers. How the fuck do we allow this, bro? <laughs> I mean, I'm guilty. I order from Amazon, but I'm just, I was just thinking about the other day. It shows yeah. up. Everyone has. Everyone talks about it. Why is this one item in this big ass Amazon box? And then I got another three envelopes. It's like, it's that. It's just like, and they do that. They do millions and billions of those every fucking day. I mean, yeah, we've said before. Like, I don't think it's like a recycling program for them, where they buy that shit back from you. Now you can you can recycle them now. No, but like where they, where Amazon like fucking buys them but back it's, from it's you. It's relying upon the people actually recycling, yeah. and doing it. I recycle. Good on yeah, you. Yeah, recycle too, but it's like, like, does it really do something though? Maybe. You know, that's the thing. I think like only like they can't like a, burn it. I think it was like fifty fifty <laughs> percent of what you recycle, bro. Yeah, no. They also yeah. release chemicals. Yeah. They just bury it. That's all they do. <laughs> can't disintegrate. But I seen something. There was like fifty percent of. It might have been less than that. Is actually recycled. Recycled. Like the shit you put in recycling. They're finding. Here's the thing. Like when we 50%. talk about when we talk about like how do we allow Amazon and all this, right? Well. Why? Here's my thing. I've been struggling with. Why is it that all of us like you see so many group of friends have individual jobs? Like you're talking about your job. You're talking about your job. You're talking about your job. Why yeah. isn't it that we don't form more companies? Why is it that people poor. don't get together and form more companies? We're poor. I, you know, I've actually we I've, can say that, I've, but I've just been talking to my cousin about. But this like shit. you, got, but like, like you know, you're not really poor. Yeah. It's not. It's just not hidden fully. I've got air, air somewhere in there, it's but uh. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, we don't, <laughs> we don't, uh, we're instead, we're always looking for the opportunities instead of creating it, right? And you hear about a lot of stories in America where it's like people go bankrupt a couple times, bro. I mean, nobody that's, wants to. That's why you do an LLC, though, yeah, because it doesn't I mean, yeah. affect you. You're, you're just, yeah, that company failed. Well, you gotta really shoot I your failed. shot. They, they, have, me. they have something going on that right now where that pool company went out of business, mm. and all these people with unfinished pools and pool service are just yeah. like, pool repairs are just like. The fuck do I do now? You know, they have yep. people with unfinished yep. pools in their shit. <laughs> Somebody went out of business. There ain't nothing like, I can do. Nobody else's problem. What the fuck? <laughs> it's, it's happens just, all the time. <laughs> that happens all the time. Yeah, bro. That's just, bro. Just that just shit with FTX that just came out. That that the second largest cryptocurrency um, yeah, trading just, just platform went just wound. It's now coming out that they possibly owe over millions of people money, bro. Like literally millions of different people who've just lent them money, who've done loans to them. So fucking much. They 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 locked withdrawals. That shit was a punch. So you can't even take your fucking money. Out. Yeah, there no. was a video where the guy the guy himself broke it down. And it was a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> here's the here's the thing though, bro. The truth is, there's a lot of Ponzi schemes going on that we oh, yeah. that we're accepting now. Oh yeah. Like Definitely. like, uh, uh, Twitter is a Ponzi scheme. <clears throat> Uber is a Ponzi scheme. These are well, Uber just changed right first profitable quarter, but these are companies that don't produce income. And that's like a big reason. Like that's the conspiracy behind, right? When everybody's like, oh, Elon's laying off all of these people. Well, why does Twitter have 6,500 employees? Because it needs to keep up the illusion that it's a big, growing, for profit investment. But really, it's losing a billion dollars last year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a Ponzi scheme. See, Man, people will put more money in, even but, though it doesn't produce money. But this is what's this is what's, this is where it differs. There's still a substance to be had with Twitter. There's still a cultural phenomenon that we have here, known as Twitter. Uber. It's still a service. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a marketable thing. It's a. It's a service. It's, I mean, it, it's that's it's a good point. Fathomable. I see what now, you mean. There's there's, 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 there's a lot of there's a lot of things that are well. I guess they're more deemed. Pyramid schemes, not Ponzi schemes. Because there's yeah, a lot of yeah, things yeah. that provide services 
And you're like, yeah, well, if you sell X amount, you move up to this tier, and then oh, you yeah, invite yeah, somebody, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you get this much. But and that shit, that's just a fucking pyramid scheme, and it's a the, lot of sales shit like the that. The way this guy, Simon, broke down, he broke it down himself on this show, on, on an interview, and this guy was super just like, what the fuck are you talking about? But he was like, you know, the, let's say there's an invisible, let's say there's an imaginary box, you know? And within this imaginary box, you know, you have, you know, things that, like, people, you know, can believe in and believe to be valuable um, in this imaginary box. This imaginary box puts out coins, a currency that promises you some type of, like, thing in return for that, such as voting rights for how the coin goes and operates and moves from there. Now, all of a sudden, with people buying into this coin with this imaginary box behind it, you have now have a twenty million dollar market cap. That's what he says. He's like, I have this invisible box that produces coins that once people believe is something these coins access to something in the box, that now all of a sudden this coin has twenty million dollars in market cap. And the guy's like, What the fuck are you talking about, dude? He's literally just like, What do you even say? He's just like, Yeah, so as you go around and promote the coin and get more people to, okay, well once you see some people buying that twenty million well, now, now it has a fifty million, four, you know, so one yeah. ninety million, hundred million dollar market cap as more and more people buy in, and that's what like yeah. is going on with this FTX shit. Like that's it was his whole basis it only for his shit because people believe it exists, like the NFTs, straight up Ponzi. Oh, yes. What was it? The monkeys, yeah. yacht monkeys, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, yeah, any of those NFTs selling for like half a million and shit for mm-hmm. no fucking reason. <laughs> Any of those things. Like, I haven't heard a lot of things about them either. Are they? There's an imaginary. No, they're gone. They're value. Gone. They sell for like two hundred bucks now. <laughs> the apes. God. The apes. Yeah. yeah. Well, like most, <laughs> most of the fucking NFTs. What do you got? An ape dog? <laughs> no, I thought. I figured. I figured one of the apes the are things, gone. Because <laughs> the one thing the ape did was, you know, you had access to those uh, yacht club parties. That that was a whole. It was a whole club behind it. You know, yeah. like you you had to buy into the that. ape. And then when you bought those mutating things, you accessed a higher tier within that yacht club. It was yeah. a whole boat. It was a whole boat club thing. Hey, dude, am I tripping? Or does a yacht party not even sound that fun if you're rich? <clears throat> like, why would I go somewhere where you're gonna take me out onto the water? I can't even see the town. I can't even leave when I want to. You're gonna get like a hundred people on this yacht. It's like not even that I lit. Know. Yeah, I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't yeah, think that lit. I feel you. I don't know, man. Dude, That's a good was, point. Like, all your family and friends. That's a good point. I have no fucking idea. But like That's for so... me, I better just go to like Tokyo and make a club. I think it's <laughs> more, more of the you get to say it. And it always, sounds good. I always imagined there was like, like yeah, I'm going on a yacht those party. Things went like, for, ooh. Those things went for a couple hundred thousand to you know yeah. to some of those mutations to a couple mil. Yeah. So I figured you you pulled up onto like some type of like private port somewhere in all your Something. yachts. You docked them, and then there was like a service. Like you kind of could walk around like. Like you went to any room and go and party on different yachts all over the fucking place, you know? And it's, it's like, okay, over shit. here you got fucking, there's JaVale McGee's little fucking thing. And then over here you got whatever, you know, so are, whoever else has Justin Bieber out here on these yachts and shit. Yeah, like, yeah. there's Jimmy Fallon shit over there. Like, we just go fucking party. Like I don't Justin Bieber's going to do like a private, private singing thing or something, right? Like, you'd be like, okay, this was kind of special. But I'd much rather be like, yeah, I was in Tokyo last night till like 5 a.m. doing coke or something, you know, just like living. <laughs> yeah. I was like, and then, you know, I flew right from there, like Jacksonville touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> like, the Mali. Yeah. <laughs> what, the what, Miami Strip. Whatever it is, like, just, what's your, I don't know, bro. I don't, I don't know why I always think like that, but I feel like if I got money like that, I, I get it why they get addictions because, like, what, what else? else do you do? You've already, once you're, st- I'm talking stupid rich, right? Not like you hit a million. Yeah, now yeah. you're like, let me get a Coke addiction. That sounds bad, <laughs> right? But like your Bezos, like you literally cannot go broke. Oh, what, you know else what, I mean? can, like, what else do you even bro. do at that point for fun? You're just like, like you like could do anything. It's like, eh, See, this is my everything. whole argument, right? Fuck so you it. get that, right? Yeah. So now think about when humans first came. Right, first, first came on the on the planet. There's nothing else in the, on the before we're building houses. Survival, right? Any the but, only thing was survival. Though. Right, survival. Yeah. Right. So, okay, okay. So we start surviving. So you start, you learn how to hunt. Yeah. Right. So you know how to feed yourself now, and you build a house, right? And so now you got a shelter. You find okay. a wo- you find a woman. You find a woman. So you got a woman. You got a shelter. You know how to hunt, right? These are you're eating. I'm, se- I'm set at this you're, point. You're set I'm, it right. I'm cool. What's the next thing you do? You gotta fucking entertain yourself. How would you entertain yourself? 
I have no fucking clue. <laughs> Maybe I'll fuck my animals or something. I have fucking no <laughs> that, idea. That's a good I mean, question. I mean, you do, you do a bunch. I mean, you would then well, that's find someone to fuck with those animals or something. That's, I guess where, they have, that's where they have the cave paintings, the fucking... All the fucking stories or whatever come from. Yeah, I, and shit, yeah. Right? I, I feel like I walk that same route. I get to that same point, and I'm like, bro, it's like basically like I'm rich, right? I got no worries. Yeah, I would start turning up. <laughs> <laughs> I would start turning up. I'm, I'm gonna eat some shrooms out here. We're gonna <laughs> cultivate some marijuana out uh, here. Like yeah. we're, we're gonna start it's, making wine. You yeah, know, we're gonna go people dolphins. going in this village and just like, bro, dude, that's do- like- dolphins eat fucking uh, blowfish. Because it gets them high, they literally a lot of it's like, are like yep. that. It's like, turn so it even, up. even at that point, where you're I mean, like, yeah, we just swimming and chilling. Like, Let's go get high, dude. Fuck you it. also look at what Jeff Bezos is doing. He's just like, I'm gonna go to space. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna just go to space. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys seen this, but Jeff Bezos gave Dolly Parton a hundred mil. Yeah. You seen that? Yeah. For what? Yeah, I know, he's, right? So I, he, he got some program. He's trying to get some he, Dolly Parton he, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> he's always wanted to hit. Like, let me see them titties. Like, Dolly, <laughs> Let me see. I did. I don't know for that My dream, Shorty. Everybody got a price, Dolly. <laughs> hundred million, like it's like right. a uh, philanthropist thing or something like that, right? Like yeah, he rewards good people basically, <laughs> and they're supposed to like. Spread. Well, she's had a book. She's had like a book thing for like decades, dude. Where she like delivers books for like kids and like yeah, she's like, highly she respected, it's, bro. It's 100% yeah. free to kids. Yeah. Yeah. She, lives, she, she, lives, always, she lives in her hometown. Like she lives in her hometown. I get nowadays. it. I do yeah. get it. Like I, I see what's going on there, but it's just weird to hear that celebrity gets a hundred mil. Like, Somebody why, why the fuck she, she went a hundred mil. Like, <laughs> Jeff, Jeff Bezos just he just made Let me that see pledge. See what good I can do. <laughs> he just made that pledge to donate most of his fortune throughout his lifetime. You know how Bill Gates has the pledge. You know all those. Oh yeah, that's a fucking tax write off. They're all protecting their. Oh hell you know? yeah, bro! Come on, like, all of this. Yeah, this guy's going to fucking space. There was a video of him. He went. He took um, what's his name, William Shatner, to space, right? Like, so they touched down, and William Shatner's just like he's trying to like, like describe space and like like what it like was to him, like to see that stuff. And next, and Jeff Bezos is just chilling. There's like, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, bro. yeah. You want you want to spray some champagne? Yeah, let's spray some champagne, dude. You know, and like William Shatner's just like dumbfounded. He's just like. He's like trying to explain like, like what experience. he just seen in yeah. space. This is a real video. Yeah, it was oh, super cringe, this. bro. Yeah, and William Shatner's just like, yeah, like just just being up there and, and like I think about when they said about the space land, like when you look back at it, you see your planet, like it's just. And then he's just like, you want to spray some champagne? Yeah, let's do that. Ah, <laughs> boom! The girls are cheering. And he's just like, ah, girls cheering, spraying champagne. Like, ah, what a fucking dick. Is. Yeah, I feel like he, he didn't even go for like the experience. He went to go down and be like, oh, he, yeah, dude, I fucking did. He's that. been like four or five times break. now. Yeah. You know, he's been he like four or five to... times. He's just taking anybody now. Yeah, like he's got. Well, for one, he's know, used to it now, like, and now it's he's already fucking... taken a uh, space for granted. God damn, what a dickhead. <laughs> and then he, space travel's like, whatever. <laughs> yeah, fuck space travel. It's whatever to him. He's been there five it's times now. fucking though. Tuesday, whatever. Like, can, we, shit. can we give anyone that amount of power and money and expect it to not go to their head? Like, none of us in this room can say yeah. that that would not go to your head because you've never experienced it. Like, what happens nope. when you've seen the top to the top the, when you all can the, do anything you want now, on top of that Literally they're like anything you, you you've want, heard though. about all the classified shit you yeah. know what i mean like you you're the person they come to to pull strings now you you're in cahoots with governments and shit like that like Okay, William Shaft. You pay off the government. Yeah, like, yeah, that, yeah, that was cool. Like he's gone. Yeah, I'm saying not even and, a human anymore. And man. then I'm also, yeah. and then I'm also thinking about like a, I'm a trying to think god about this, at that point. Yeah. Like it's, it's like a weird the closest god thing complex. on Earth. And I'm thinking about a little twist of like this probably was after he went through that divorce, right? Oh yeah, a little so midlife probably, crisis thrown in. Bachelorette, yeah. like, bachelor crisis, midlife crisis going. He's bald. <laughs> yeah, like, could you just imagine away. though having that much money and having the ability to change that many people's lives, and you just go, "I'm going to fucking space." Like I could end world hunger easily. I could fucking fix the entire world of like, bro. There was everything that's wrong with it. Like, there was oh, talks yeah, of him of like. Get that purchasing a country remember yeah. was, they were talking about him purchasing cyprus outside mm-hmm. turkey i was just like what type of shit like where were you just talking like dumb unfathomable amounts of cash yeah bro we're like by, by country here, island. Here's like, the world changing cash and your stupid mm-hmm. ass is going to fucking space and trying to have a bridge move so your yacht could get through it did y'all see that yeah one? Oh, yeah, and, yeah, yep. yeah and they did right they yeah. did did they yeah, yeah. 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 I, they, they did I, I kept yeah, saying they that they it. wouldn't do it eventually yeah, they did it yeah he probably fucking just kept raising the price here's the funny thing like in my opinion right it's funny because it's like, 
the fact that that was knowledge, right? So now that came out. Oh, he's going to buy a country, right? Mm -hmm. like, whoa. They're never going to do that because of how wild like we would react to that. We would be like, this is too much. Like They know the backlash that would come from that. But these small countries, they're owned already, bro. Mm -hmm. You just yeah. never heard nobody yeah. say nothing. Right, yeah. You know what I mean? The puppet states list doesn't you imagine if like, Ethiopia gives Elon Musk a factory. Let's just say, right? I know it, it doesn't make sense, but let's just say, like, Elon Musk owns Ethiopia now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Yep. It, yeah, and there's, and there's big, even countries playing influence in those types of things, like where you have, like, China, like, you know, deeply rooted throughout Africa. Literally, uh, literally, uh, they built an embassy. I forgot what country it was. They built, they built their embassy, their construction company. It was bugged, top to bottom, top to bottom bugged. Built by the Chinese company. Built a harbor. Built a harbor for them. Oh, well, you gotta pay it back, or they own the harbor. Think, think about <laughs> even what like America. America did it with Amazon. You know how hard, you know, like fucking tax breaks they got for Amazon. Oh yeah. To get them here, mm -hmm. that that essentially Amazon is like, yeah, you're you're our bitch now because you we have the leverage. It's well, too you big. You want all the money that yeah. you we have to bring into the country. You, I would say like Amazon well, so, would probably be responsible of like they, a percentage or two of the total the like GDP of the whole country. But they say it's like, like it's oh, that you know, the argument that they say is, oh, they provide so many jobs. To the community. They're about to do a like, massive like 10,000 employee layoff. I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen that. But the thing is like they say like, oh, it adds this many jobs. Well, how many jobs does it get rid of? Because there can't be anybody. How many, no, how many businesses does it get That's rid of? That's what I'm saying. Well, jobs. No, but, but I mean like small business owners. Yeah. Like, how many fucking small business owners did Let's you just Let's say that got kill? rid of like every small business within you know five miles of that area in every right. direction. You lost 10,000 jobs, you know? That's how I feel like. I don't know if that math adds up, but it feels like that. No, no, no you might have kept the same amount of jobs, but now they're fucking making substantially less. Because think about what an Amazon employee makes. 17, 18? Yeah, and, that, and like, how they make it like, you know. As opposed to being a business owner? Now they're now being you're making 17, now. $18 an hour. You could pay your employees yeah. more than that. Exa yeah. Exactly, but the Amazon is paying 17, 18 an hour. It's like you didn't create, you just created more Fucking lower lower class people. So they, they they account for twenty percent of all U.S. retail sales. Them alone sounds about right. Which is one fifth. I wonder how of the that works. Entire though. retail sales. I wonder how that works entirely though, because they they also third party shit. I think it means does that, it count for I, them too? I think it like means if it's you a, pay it through Amazon. Yeah. However yeah. they get it to you is how they get it to you, yeah, but wherever, you pay yeah, it through wherever, Amazon. Wherever retail like, sales company, on Amazon. Companies list their product on Amazon. Yeah, but, yeah, but, what, so, yeah, but it's the sales made through the Amazon website, so that yeah, would be well, an like, Amazon sale. Yeah. Well, I mean, technically, yeah, but it's like Amazon is – it's Walmart online. You know, It's a holding company is yeah. what it is, just like yeah, any of Yeah, that's like, all it is. You pay for the and, warehouse and they've space. Yeah, and, they've invent, and then you stock and, the goods. And now they and, provide yeah. the shipping and, services, which is a fucking another monopoly and they on take the fucking that down, top of that. And they take that down multiple levels like, like um, Posh or like that Grubhub. Yeah. Uh, delivery where you can get like snacks and shit now. Like yeah. I've done glass for them and shit. It's literally a store, bro, in like w in warehouses that they just stack like all these candies, yep. these they ice creams, bum, 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 and bum. people just come pick it up all day long. And go. That's just a holding company. Yep. They just have the money that they could put up front yep. to be able to like I have all this shit. If you want it, I can give it to you right now. You know this. It's that service, and people are willing to pay for that. I get mad when I see them fees. So. Like, so I went on Grubhub like, 10, oh, yeah, no. 10 times. I went Done. to Grubhub, seen that final price, and I was like, You added $12? I'm for not what? getting this. Yeah, I'm what? not getting this, no. you know? But plenty of people would be like, Fuck that. They're going to bring it to me. Like, exactly. I don't feel like going. Yeah. Like, Gas is expensive. I've done I got to get dressed. The fuck putting pants on. But for the most part, I'm like, Damn, for $12? <laughs> I'll give it to you for 6 <laughs> But for 12 yeah. I'm just going to get up. Yeah, like, call that regular sorting, compliance fee, taxes, tip, like all that shit. DoorDash fee, like. Nah, find your speed. Yeah, nah, fuck out of here. <laughs> we had to find your house. And then you can pay that. You can pay that like ten dollars a month. It'll be like free delivery. And, you know, and the, the delivery I, charge. I did and then... that just for because they had like the free whatever month or whatever. Yeah, free trial month. Shit. They're still charging like it's a fucking hella. extra fee on top of that. Like still, hella. yeah. Still I love hella. when they're just like we charge this for providing the service. It's like two ninety nine service fee. It's like <laughs> DoorDash yeah. operation. Extra dollar fifty for it's fuck the you. Same thing like Ticketmaster and shit. Airbnb, doing, bro. Airbnb nowadays. Fucking Ticketmaster got. Sued for that shit, bro. They and, they, and they it. still do it. Oh, they, still they, do I think it. they won that lawsuit. I just, just the other day, bro, I bought a ticket for 25 They charged me 10 on service fee. Yeah. 
That's fucking yeah. almost fifty percent of Airbnb it. Airbnb oh, has like all their cleaning fees and shit now. Now it's more expensive than a hotel room. It's like fuck it. We're going back to hotels now. Right. Now people are saying yeah. fuck Airbnb. And don't you notice how this shit kind of it, it fucking back? It like shit resets itself. It has a natural like order of like like Netflix came out streaming. It's fucking taking everybody. Like fucking get rid of cable. Whatever. It's cheaper to have this. We we'll just get cable now. There's fucking forty streaming services, uh-huh, and everyone. people are like, you know, fifty dollars a month for cable don't sound fucking bad when you got ten dollars for this <laughs> one, fifteen for that one, thirty for that one. They're like, nah, I'm gonna go back to cable. You gotta interchange. This shit, That's yeah, like, this yeah, shit has a, like a re, like some stuff gets just too much and it has a way of resetting itself. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely do agree with that. The cycle, but like, yeah. but like, I always think about fuck the data, right? Like, think about your your, your personal experiences. Like, if you you got an Airbnb. You ever got one? No. No? You, well, we've got one before together. We've got one? Well, we're like cabins. That's basically... Yeah, I mean, I guess kind of. Right? Like, I've like, never been through Airbnb, no. Okay, well, that's where I booked them through when we went to cabins. Oh, you've been, oh, there, you've been there. Oh, yeah, I was Airbnb. You know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> so technically, I guess you threw up on one. But I've got them through there. Like, I like them, bro. I'm willing to pay extra to go to one of them over a hotel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I it liked it. Niche, like, yeah. bro, it has we, his niche, bro. For like, we like went to... Usually we was getting like one every year, bro. You get, you know what I mean, for like five, yeah. fucking what, three or four days. You get the hot tub, the game room. Everybody right. just likes to get. Yeah, yeah. Oh it's yeah, you don't got to deal with fucking walking in. Whatever and you want to do. That's why Airbnb continues to thrive because they have all those like niche spots. So like you have like some places it'll be like a yeah, full glass dome on the side of like spots. Utah Red Rocks, yeah. or like yeah, you have one where you stay on a on a, a train. You know, like a train that's, like, stationed in someone's backyard or some shit. looks cool yeah. as fuck. And Tree I, houses all over America. I like, get why. Right. Like, if you had, like, maybe you by yourself or you and your girl, you wouldn't maybe get one. But, like, when you've got six people or six couples throwing up on one, let's say, okay, it's going to cost us $200. You get a whole but house. you can get a regular Airbnb where it's not. You get a whole house, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, you I don't get, know, you get I somebody's room. Because well, like, they do, well, they do like, like, split. You can, like, rent a room in somebody's house. And uh, they're yeah, in that yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's an Airbnb. You know, I've priced them before I obviously haven't got one in what a year now so a lot of shit happens but when I used to price them it would be like $200 more than if like everybody had their own room you yeah, know what I mean? Had... So if you split that six ways, it ends up being like thirty bucks for yeah. everybody to get to stay together. Right. It's like it, it's like the festival vibe where it's like you're going back whenever you go back to the same spot to sleep, it's just like you don't it's, different, yeah. it's like a sleepover as a kid, bro. <laughs> you loved it when you were a kid. Everybody does everybody it's loved it. Somebody <laughs> say, Yeah, I mean and then you, you like, gotta ask you don't you gotta do ask. that no like we like regardless, like how many times do you go to sleep with your friends? It's weird, you know? It's like yeah. it's homey and then you just have like these little three days where you're like all just playing games, you might do some events and shit. Like I always loved those experiences. Yeah. And when you go to a hotel, you don't feel like that. No. You, you know, know, everybody's gotta pack into a yeah. two queen size bed hotel to play like games or something like that yeah, oh, yeah. You it has this thing table, everybody yeah. two you people right next to you yeah, yeah like it's like, way yeah. different I see, I we like, done got big ass it'd be like fucking six, what eight so, eight people sixteen hundred bucks or something like that yeah, yeah, get a big get, ass cat when you get that map here, here's people, my yep, take yeah. on it an Airbnb can actually be the vacation a hotel can't be the vacation. Yeah, exactly, exactly. A hotel is a place you got to, to do stay shit. near the fucking place that you, you want to do You got to do more shit. than the pool. Yeah, <laughs> Airbnb, you can, like, vacation there, and it's like, oh, this is a fucking spot to go. I was, saying, I was looking for, like, for like places to stay. I was, went to Airbnb first because it was, like, that it was like the typical thing. Like, you know, I assumed that now, like, Airbnb was cheaper yeah. than going to a hotel. So I was looking at Airbnbs to go to South Carolina. I'm just like, man, all this shit's expensive. I found a couple of tiny homes. I was like, this is pretty cool. But then I go look at hotels. I'm like, 50 bucks I'm like this night. is I'm like this is half that. <laughs> yep. and it's like mm. it's like a decent hotel. I'm like this is half of what the Airbnb was. You know? Yeah, like, that's what I was know? saying. If you got one or two people, yeah, yeah. it makes total sense. Yeah. I get it. But when you got like a squad and you got to be in separate yeah. rooms and shit, like I think I think if you're visiting a city, it's you're probably gonna always almost go with a hotel versus an Airbnb. Yeah. And then you got and yeah. you can leave that hotel all day long yeah. when yep. like you're doing shit like that. Yeah. You know, for you, sure. Airbnb is a spot to to vacation though. Like that's where you want to go. Like, we're not going to a location here. Like, I just went to fucking Orlando. It's, it's a vacation spot. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. you're going to Deep Creek. You get Airbnb out there. You know, exactly. Going, what's, yeah. a, what's, a, what's a fear you guys want to face before you die? Before I want to face before I want to die. Probably, like, um, I think well, I think heights, you know? I think heights for me. What do you think the best way to do that is? You think, think it's the, jumping the, out of that plane? I think probably it's probably sky, either skydiving or bungee jumping, <laughs> something like that. 
Bungee you know, jump. Like, I think bungee jumping would be You get a free fall in you. Yeah. You, know, you need Let's a free fall. Let's go skydiving. Fall. Yeah, I, like, you I know, like, fucking go. I want yeah. to go for like I did it before. Now. Yeah. Have you? Yeah, I've done it before. Oh, it's definitely jealous. good. It's definitely good, but you know, you're attached to someone. Yeah. So like Unless if you, you were like, to fuck, amount of time, you feel you safe. Certified. You feel safe. You know what I mean? Like you're literally, it's weird, but like you're literally. He's attached to you. He's erect in your back. up four ways. so hard. You're like, this guy got me. Like it's definitely scary as fuck. Don't get me wrong. You're jumping out of a plane. That engine sound that's what i don't like then they open that thing but that thing's so loud and like that's the scary part is going out yeah you know everything else is fun from there but for me it's like way more scary you're jumping off that cliff with nothing attached to you bro like that water jumping in the water like off of big cliffs and shit oh, yeah, yeah. 40 50 feet Dude, something yeah, like that like i think that's like the ultimate like, yeah. Yeah. attacking height your height fear yeah that's what i, I want to like, like that i'm free, going off free falling, i thought about, yeah. either, yeah, I thought about yeah. either that or something like you you like you do like some rock climbing you know like i've done a, i've done a couple of rock climbing walls yeah. and like the rock climber was like you're still strapped in like but like to me it's still terrifying when i'm going to go make that next move and i let go hmm. like go reach for something i'm gonna like i like i remember one time i slip and i fall i'm just like i was so fucking shook you know yeah like, you definitely feel you know, it but yeah. you know you're good yeah you know, yeah, you're, you know okay. you're good but that's I'm how i felt yeah. about the, the jumping out plate thing you know? yeah. like you know you're if it was on me to do it i would have been <laughs> way more scared i'm like you better fuck i'm gonna miss the strength i'm gonna miss the i would i'd jump out with that bitch like that you know what i mean like right yeah like <laughs> shit's on it's terrifying for sure that's crazy it's definitely terrifying how about you Craig? what do you think i don't know you, 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 I gotta think about this one. I well, know. I mean, heights. Like, I, I ever think I feel like everybody's scared of heights. Everybody is. Like, even those people that go on top of those like skyscrapers and shit. I think they're still scared. They just know yeah, like this. You is have, have some sense like, of fucking fear from it. Otherwise, exactly you're, right. You're, like, or you're like you're, a lunatic. lunatic. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a, yeah, 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 yeah. There's a chance. There's a chance that's a thing. I'm but, sure like, there are. But. I, you know. I feel like I can. I faced my fear of heights, and I can face it in the future. Yeah. So you know, you already gave that example too. Another one I think about is like, I would like to, even though like I'm not even interested in it, to face my fear, I would like to do like uh, some cave diving. That sounds cool. Because I am just spelunky. Tight spots. Yeah. Dark. Uh, can't kick up nothing, bro. Yeah. The sounds. You know what I mean? Like, like I'm, I'm. I, we talked about it before. Fear of water. Like, bro, yeah, spelunky, I'll get spelunky listen, is crazy. So spelunky I'll get is, scared. Yeah, wild shit. If I go underwater, you die in like crazy ways with that. Like they got stuck. Oh, in a yeah. fucking hole and they, they couldn't move and they were like upside down. Uh, it seems oh, yeah, so terrible. That, yeah. yeah, that one was I'm fucking scared crazy. of like, like anything you hear. Imagine dying like that. Like, uh, if I'm like uh, the water's letting out of the tub and I go under the water and hear that. What are going out? That scares the shit out of me. Or like you ever been in like a wave? I'm going down. To <laughs> Seriously, bro. <laughs> or like take me. you ever went under in a wave pool? Yeah. yeah. Bro, when you hear that fucking <laughs> scares yeah. the shit out of me, bro. Or you've been by like a boat when it's going by, you go underwater, dog. That shit is terrifying. Just hearing that sound, like you're already not comfortable. You know what I mean? You're, you're out of your element. You're in some water. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's just like going wrong quick. Like I feel like it would be. The ultimate for me, I don't even know if I would do that. Put it that way. I'd jump out of a plane before I do that. Like, I, I, that is just like, to me, it's very dangerous. That's the thing. What's and, flunking? Key diving? Cave diving. Yeah, yeah cave diving, like, yeah. It's, it's just very. There's a lot of things that can go wrong. Oh, yeah, 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 way you more. Fall, you're drowning. Nobody's finding you. Like, it's... And, Pick up some silt. But, yeah, but like, that's what I'm saying. At the end of the day, though, that one's on me. Right? I'm not attached to nobody. That's mm -hmm. why I'm saying it's, it's way more scary because. Yeah. It's all on you. So I, I just think that would just be terrifying. But imagine if you went to like a beautiful cave, bro. Like there was a spot in Jamaica I told you about before called like the Blue Hole where like you can jump in there yeah. and you're able to – and it's like all dark. These fish never seen light before. There's like translucent fish at the bottom and oh, shit, shit like that. It's crazy. You dive down there? It's, it's hard, so terrifying. You know <laughs> what I mean? But like beautiful. There, there was a video of a guy who was in there who did that. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. It's a vacation yeah. spot. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Like, I, no, I remember they were. Uh, I think it was a different one. I don't think it was the one in Jamaica, but there's a there was a, bl a big blue hole. That guy went cake diving down there, and he was going down, and he reached a point. So like at certain depths, you had to dive with a different mixture of oxygen and right. like, yeah, like nitrogen and shit like that. So like he gets to a certain point where the tank, where like his flotation device and his tank, is too heavy for him. Because of the density of the water. Oh, okay. So I remember. I remember something. Next like thing you know, he starts getting pulled down deeper and deeper. And as he keeps going, the, oh, the, the, of course, the mixture he has isn't working. Then she blacks out and just gets fucking. He has a body camera on. Gets sucked down to this fucking blue hole and just sinks. 
Wow. He just sinks and dies out there. It's just like you hear him like fucking like choking and That's shit. That's the like, shit I'm talking about. Absolutely dude. terrifying. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Something like not even beyond his control. He just, he just wasn't calibrated for that type of death. Just in that water. That water is just And how, how are you supposed to know either too? Like, yeah, you, you can't get, fight against it. Yeah. You can't fight against it. It's too heavy. It's too well, heavy a lot of them be risking shit though. Like them people got big balls. They bro. do. Like the, I was listening to one the other day where it's stupid, but they got big balls. There's two guys. They were just free diving off by this oil rig. They go down. They see this opening and like the cement blocked off building. They can take take off the front gate though. They go in there. It says you know, hey, don't go through here. Basically, they push on. Eventually, kind of similar thing though. That the suction basically ends up taking the one guy. He can't fight back no more. So the other guy sees it. He turns around. He's like, fuck that. The other guy keeps going all the way through like this metal chamber. This is like 60, 80 feet. they're free diving. 60. No, 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 not free diving. They're they're scuba diving. diving. But they're like 60, 80 feet down and he's going into like this tunnel, bro. He ends up getting sucked into a bigger tunnel. Goes all the way into like this huge ass opening of like fill of water basically. And there's like fucking suction pumps and everything in there. He don't know what the fuck's going on. It filters out, and he's able to come back out like with the suction of it. God, it gives me chills oh, thinking about shit. it. Right? Come to find, so he's a, he ended up being okay. Come to find out, this was a fucking connection to the fresh water uh, from a nuclear reactor plant, bro. He was in a nuclear reactor plant's fucking water disposal, and oh, it just happened to be in most of them. They have like suctions that suck it out, but this one had like some special filter room where like it went out and then it came back in basically. So he was able to get out because of this specific one, but he was in a nuclear reactor's fucking fresh oh, water <laughs> fucking thing, bro. It's, like, it's just oh, insane. Shit. Yeah, you're just down in there and it's so far. Like that, that's the scariest thing. Like you're in this like enclosed thing separate from everything else so far down under the water where no one it's, fucking knows. Every time I see one. people like that, you know I'm like, bro, you at. should just be a soldier. Like, we could really use you on the front lines. Right. Like, you you know? don't give a fuck about your life, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to go for it, bro, we got a place we can send you. You want to go out like a bad motherfucker. We, we got the perfect shit for you. That's, I heard you about this flame off. <laughs> I, you know, I was thinking about that recently, too, bro. Uh, like, I was thinking about how we all, like, as boys, right? As boys, you grow up. You always, like, wanted to be an army man. You want to be an army man at some point. Yeah. You know? Or you want Those to be like manly a, things. a cop, whatever it is. You want to be the hero, right? Like, yeah. the, and, and it always involves like guns and like taking out bad guys and shit. But you grow up, our day of age, I feel, here's my theory, right? Is that in our day of age, the, the, the army is being more shunned, you know, where people kind of feel like it's a setup. Yeah. You know, they don't want to go that route. Oh, I don't want to go die for a fucking college education. Exactly. Oh, but, but men still have like this feeling. Of, like, wanting to be involved in things like this, yeah. right? Like, that sh- whatever it is, not not, not that it's praise, so but, like, that... Sh- scuba diving and fucking nuclear reactors. Or they they carry guns on the street, you know, in these gangs and shit, bro. Yeah. They're basically, like, they've got that same thing that we all had as a kid. Like, you want to have a gun, you want to have these shootouts. You picture shooting people yeah. and shit like that. They're not going to the army. I feel like then, there's like something. And then something... you ain't got nobody pushing them to do the right thing either. Nah, That's bro, so the, the motherfuckers at... around them is the drug dealer who's like, because I know y'all seen it where like, it'd be like an older dude and they're hanging around like the basketball court or whatever, just like younger kids and shit like that. And they kind of take the younger ones and they're like, yo, you know, hey, hey go run this over there for me. I'll oh give yeah, you 20 for sure. bucks. And that, that's how that shit happens too. Where it just take them under their wing. It's like, like father figure or whatever. Like, oh, I'm, I'm cool because he's, he's wow. cool. That's I look one, up to him. That's one thing I never really thought about when I was younger, man. But like, you you realize that as you get older, of when you're when we were kids and we were hanging out with these adults, those adults were weird. And you think about like you thought they were cool. Yeah, bro, you really did. Well, you think about somebody being so like cool. fucking 30, 40, 50 years old and like wanting to hang out with like sixteen year olds yeah. or like oh I'll buy you out. Then you realize they're losers and you're like. Bro, Think about you Fuck. right now. Think about you right now. You don't hang out I with hate no te- fucking people younger than me, man. <laughs> I hang out with no teenagers, and Talk I definitely ain't going much. around volunteering for motherfuckers to you know buy them alcohol no, and no, shit. No, no, or no. hey, can we match? Like what? And I'm thinking about like I know like 30 people that were like way older, bro, and being no like way. not no. that like I'm saying like outside of your no. family and no shit. Way, 
You know what I mean? Like if yeah. you've got like your uncle or, or your cousin or something like that, I feel like that's a completely different. Yeah. You're gonna oh yeah, that's different. Your, no, your you grandpa got a, smokes. You got a thirty year old guy that hangs around yeah, the fucking playgrounds or the fucking oh. basketball court, that whatever. Just hey, don't even play basketball. Nope. He just hangs ain't never around. Anybody. What just, y'all doing after this? Hey, <laughs> rolls up. <laughs> what y'all doing? <laughs> Passes the blunt to you, everybody. Like, the one exactly. guy that starts out like, let me roll that for you. Let me roll that for always. Always. I'll bring through an ounce next time. Let me get a shot. Let me get a shot. I can't. I'm gonna get a pound. I'm gonna get a pound and break everybody off. That's just so crazy. And as like, and as a kid, I used to always think like, oh yeah, well like these people are cool as shit. Right. Like they're adults do. Yeah. They're adults and they get it. You know, that's how you feel. You're like, yeah, they get it. Like now you're like, and this is fun, right? And you get older, you're like this. They were fucking losers. The wackest shit ever. Yeah. We're just drinking the cheapest vodka. Sitting around the fucking house. I always makes me think of like Larry. Remember Larry, bro? He would come around and we're like, we like, Larry's so cool. We thought Larry was so cool, man. He just comes and roll the blunts up. Oh, my cousin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. not my cousin, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. or Larry, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Larry, man, was, that was a hilarious character. I can bro. think of a lot of names, but I don't know who would hear this. So, but there's a lot of people, bro. But one person I'll address is fucking Karen's dad. Oh, yeah. Like, this guy yeah. was literally like, I remember we were like 13, bro. And he's like, I'll buy, if you give me the money, I'll buy you whatever you want. If you buy me a bottle. <laughs> we're like here what do you want <laughs> right these kids money he's in there about his jack and fucking absolute vodka fifths is that Dude. where we got that yeah bro that like was the Karen's first like dad? five times I ever got alcohol was oh, through Karen's dad we right. bought him something he would get us a fifth of had, absolute jack we had to walk up there remember to not mix it or nothing I remember yeah. walking up there with you guys going to yeah I remember that yeah, yeah bro, the bomba liquors right there yeah dog and I was like what the fuck? And, and like, even when you're younger and, like, you know, like, you have that kid that, that would be around the block or something. You're like, we can go to his house. His mom don't care. As a, when you're young, you think that's so cool. You're like, yeah, his bro. mom's so cool. Be letting them, you're like, let us all chill fuck there. About we, can bring, <laughs> we can bring bitches there. We can smoke there. Like, right. you realize that you grow up, you're like, that's some clown ass shit. Yeah. Who the fuck yeah. would do that? Let their kid do the this shit. don't give a fuck about their kid. That's no, all that exactly, means. Like, exactly, bro. Whatever, exactly, do what the fuck you want. Man. I don't give a shit. You appreciate somebody laying out a couple rules for yeah. you. And then you, you also wear those ain't but like, Sexual intentions there is like that's the, a, I mean yeah I'm that always is in play up, yeah you know, golf guard you know <laughs> but like I mean for the most people I know it wasn't I never felt like that it was like like he was saying like didn't people didn't friends. care like, they just didn't care you know the the parents were just like it is what it is you know and like kind of let it go and then some people were like. I, oh, I'm gonna do this no matter what. Then the parent be like, "We'll just do it here." Like it yeah, always, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, then it yeah. like rolled into that. So I feel like it was like there there should be a limit, you know? Like I was just talking to my nephew's dad, right? And he's like, "It's like, look, he's about to be 18, you know? He should he should be able to do whatever he wants to do." But he lives in my house, and he's like, he can't just smoke in his room basically and just act like it's expected. That he can smoke in this house. He's like, you know, I know you smoke, but you gotta hide it. You, know, you gotta go outside. <laughs> like he's like, I, he's like, I'm out here, you know, and I go outside <laughs> to do it. He's like, he's he thinks he can smoke in the house. <laughs> you know, so it's like, I feel like I was like, bro, I feel like that's reasonable. Yeah, you know, that's yeah. somebody that's like, you're gonna do what you want to do. There's no punishment, I but you're not gonna sit here and just be like, so have respect. I do that's the respect I thing. Like, yeah, yeah like have some respect for the fucking people there. And like, I always say, like, for me, bro, I remember one time, my mom beat my ass one time. One time. But for the most part, she never had to. Like, she never really gave me a set of rules, but I never disrespected her. Yeah. Like, I, if you know, she didn't say, like, you better be home by 9, but I will be home by, like, 9. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or, like, I never cussed at her. Like, it was. I, there's a lot of, like, just... It was understood. Match. It's you understood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. understood. And she didn't like, have to beat my ass to do it. Yeah. You know, you just, like, I had a respect where, like... You do see some kids that are just like, fuck you. I don't care what you say, you know, or they tell them that, then they end up sneaking out, or they yep. do it again. Yeah. Like, yep. there was a story recently, bro, of this this girl I know, her sister, 13 years old, catching Ubers, bro, middle of the night, all the way down Lexington Market oh, from Park shit. from Parkville, bro. Lexington 13, Market? Lexington oh, Market. Shit, there's a one to thing meet a guy, Market. To meet a guy, like, multiple times, bro, was using the parents' Uber card. They didn't even know. Ended up, wow. ended up catching it on the thing. Went there like five times, bro. Not to mention it's like a $50 Uber. Right. Fucking like Parkville to Lexington. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, 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 uh, <laughs> and like didn't even know, bro. This little ass girl down there on fucking Lexington Market. 13 years old. Like, 
You know what I mean? Just wild, like, bro. And not to say they're bad parents, but I'm saying like she found a way around. Oh, it's like, easy nowadays. Yeah. Oh, just call a fucking ride. Just and this guy's just like, exactly. oh, man, kid. Like they should. I feel like if you're like, oh, do we got to show ID or something? Like put your yeah, ID like on Uber. If you're, if you're and like under you're... 18, I need like parent consent. Exactly, like, I need, I need bro. A fucking, I want a message or some signature or some shit. Yeah, like parent. when you sign up for Uber, you should right. have to put your ID in there. And if it don't match that, then like you need a parent signature or a right. signature from that person saying that they yeah, can get it or of, something. Some type of safety feature. That shit's wild, yeah, man. Because yeah, because you can be fucking And this is in the middle just, of the that, night. Yeah, you know, Honestly, I wasn't doing no shit like that. I was going at my friend's house to smoke a little pot. And I was drinking with my buddies. Like, That's what I'm saying. Though. Like, what do you do? <laughs> like, like, what oh do you my do? God. What, what would you do fuck? if your son did that? Like, you found out your son was doing that. He's going to Lexington Market four or oh, five fight. times middle of the night. I'm fighting his ass. First of all, I'll be like, up. did you get her pregnant? Because that's going to be the first response. <laughs> Your if you're going down to meet the bitch and, and fucking... Oh, shit. It's 2022. It's fucking impossible at this point. I was going to say... Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 mean, like I don't know. I, you, see, I, I parent my son more like your mom parented you, where, like, you don't have a bedtime. Right, but, like, right, yo, but right there. It's not a school, it's not a you're school getting night. GPS, like, yo, put on but, you. But right there, you assumed it was to meet a girl. <laughs> yeah. Right? Your son typically, could be, typically your, that means your son could be copping drugs. That's true. Could be trapping, could be gangbanging. Bro, that's, that's true. Could have hit a lick. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's a Woman, lot of other man. things. If you that, Uber to hit a lick, though, you got, you got other fucking problems. I mean, shit. I mean, you got Uber to get away driver. You know? Uber, it's like, hey. Yeah. Is it that yeah. bad? Like, if I get the block over, I come through the alley, I get a different Uber to dip out? Like, you know I don't what know, I mean? I think it's a lot of Uber puts you in the area. It puts you in the area of the crime, which kind of sucks, but... You know, I mean, I mean yeah, way, it could be any you number know, of things get, going on. Know, you gotta put some GPS in that kid. I always think about like so, a, if I had to move a brick, get an Uber. Verizon got this, <laughs> Verizon has this fucking thing called a gizmo. It's a fucking smartwatch, but it's for kids. You can like preload ten contacts in it. You can fucking GPS them wherever they are. You can hit ping and it'll fucking find them. It has a call feature. If you call and they don't answer, it fucking answers anyway. It's so, like you know what wow. the fuck, dude. That was like the best fucking thing ever. And it's like ten bucks because. The fucking school bus lost my kid last year. Oh, yeah. It happens a lot. Dude, yeah. It was fucking terrible. So, like, they actually didn't lose him. He was at school. The bus was late, and they didn't fucking tell nobody. Yeah. Then we went up to the school, and they were like, oh, no, nah, we all ain't allowed in. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Didn't tell us the kid was there. Though. And your kid didn't show up. Yeah. They like, didn't tell us that he was there, and, like, it was, like, a fucking thing. So, we got the fucking gizmo, dude. Yo, that shit is crazy. So, it's I a phone? Hit. It's a smartwatch. Smartwatch. Uh, he, okay, he can send okay, voice gotcha. messages and shit like that. Oh, like, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's cool, yeah. Yo, it does fucking everything. And I'm like... But he can't go on the internet and shit like that. Exactly. Yeah. It does yeah. all the shit he needs to, like... Because he'd be like, I want to yeah. go to the park. I'm I think like, that's a good idea. Now, so I'm like, the park you can see. So he's like, I want to go to the park. I'm like, yo, all right, you're going with your friend. You got your watch on. You're good. I can fucking ping right. exactly where the you are. I they... can actually set a location. The only thing if he goes like anywhere people... outside of that location, it fucking notifies me immediately. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I like yeah. that, bro. Dude, that's a lot of good it's, ideas it's in that, yeah, 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 that thing is fucking awesome. I, the only way I can think now is like, okay, they become adapt to this, predators, and now yeah. they know to target the watch. Exactly. Because that's what we got into the talk before of like the microchip. Yeah. Right? It's because like then you wouldn't know where it's at. Right. Yeah. That's the yeah. only thing because they could come up and be like, oh, he's got that watch. Take it me. off, yeah. And they could take it off. Yep. And leave it in that area, right? Yeah. That's my only fear about that. But I like that. That's probably the most, the best idea I've heard available yep. before microchip. <laughs> <laughs> but like we talked before, like let's say like there was a microchip, right? Yeah. That you could order. It wasn't through the government. You could literally order it off Amazon. Let's say one hundred three dollars. About this, I think there is. And then had, saw this kid. Let's just say, fucking doing it. say it had no side effects. Yeah. Right? Not at all. Like, this is proven. It's good. It's like one in a trillion that something happens. Yeah. You chip would, your would kid. Would you put that in your kid? No. no. I actually just had a conversation with my coworker, like, <laughs> recently about it. I think it's actually a thing. Okay. I, I haven't I think seen nothing I like that. I think it's a thing. I, from At least from what he was saying. I didn't fucking look it up. But he's also a little crazy, so. What about, okay. Is he? He is crazy. <laughs> you just feel like that's too much. He told me he kidnapped a dude and cut, his, cut him open, put snakes in his belly and sewed him back up. <laughs> That, yeah, that, that was, that's that <laughs> that's, allegation. That's, allegedly. That's, that's, <laughs> so I'm like, I have no you idea. You feel like it's right too or much or what? Yeah, and also it could be used in the wrong way because if it's if you're microchipped, it means it's going into a database to where you can access that. Right. Well, see, that's so. What, therefore, then then you're gonna have a database of every fucking kid and their address 
all in one database. How often does she get hacked? This is true. That's what I was just trying Way to say. Too fucking often. Let's just say though. Let's just exclude that. Exclude every negative, right? Yeah. And let's just say it worked for nothing but the positive. Yeah. So yeah. Like, would you be comfortable? <laughs> well, like, I mean, but like, but I'm trying to figure out, like, is it? Is, I'm trying to figure out exactly what it is where it takes people to that next level of know with that. Like, is it the fact that it enters the skin, or is it the fact that it can do that? So let's say we let's say like because the first thing I was gonna say is what if you invented it? What if you were in the future? You know how to code, right? You're an inventor. You invent the thing that's gonna go in there, the little slit that's gonna go in there, right? It's a hair fucking that goes inside yeah, at this yeah, point, yeah. right? You Grand invite race, the app, whatever. it's on your phone. Like you've got, you're the one with the database of just one kid, your kid that you invented, right? So that's yeah. what I'm, I'm trying to take away all the negative okay. of it and just okay. be like, because to me. It's the perfect idea because I can hide it. Like there's no way somebody would ever be able to, you know, find out where I put this at. But is that only, is that, is that only do like GPS tracking? I mean, we could. It I mean, it's, just, it's gonna have, it's gonna have to have all the negative behavior. Yeah, for that one, let's be tapping to their eyes. <laughs> I can moment, I can momentarily control that. <laughs> Remote control, Walk home. See, first person just, drone style. Like, even all of that, though, like that's all. I'm talking about far in the future here, right? Where like okay. you're talking about like the, an invention we can't even picture. It'd be like the slit of a hair. The hair molecule yeah. is how big this thing would be. Right. And it might even go on like the tip of a finger. Like you could place it wherever, you know, effortlessly and be attached to be able to have all those same things as your watch and plus more. And they can't, they can't find it. You couldn't even, even if they knew where it was at, they can't find yeah. it. You know, like. Uh, see, and then, and then I go to what I want that on me and it's, it's, it seems like an invasion of privacy. It's somebody's thing too. That's because, why I'm trying to create it so, where it's just so, you. So where no one else would have control still, of that but you. It's still a weird invasion of privacy. Because point, you're you not, your own, but, but you're your not kid. like tech savvy. Yeah. Where like if I brought that to somebody though that really knew their computers and used VPNs and like felt like they knew how to hide their stuff, I feel like they wouldn't be as I feel scared like as that. Invasion of privacy on me to him. Even that seems odd to me. Like oh. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm a person. I don't like being I mean, out there with everything. You like, don't. I, he's I, not going to be 16 with don't. this thing in him. But exactly. That's, right? that, was my like, next, that was my next point. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. Does no, it, I don't think. Yeah. yeah. Is there? That's for you decide. <laughs> right, but well, then, then but then people get used to the oh I know where my kid is at all times and they don't I want mean, it, it to end nice. and then it's it then it nice. gets to that well, weird thing of like well like the hard you have too much control and mm -hmm. yep so like the hard thing is is like I, I can't like no, no. maybe that maybe the numbers have adjusted slightly since the last time I've seen it but it's actually over ninety from the last time I seen it. so within I think it's four or under any child abducted within two hours like it's like ninety two percent that they're yeah. dead. Right, so yeah. like when you talk about like a child that small being taken, yeah. you literally have no time, bro. These people are here to harm. Yeah, you know, so you you need to have that jump. And if it takes me invade invading their privacy for this amount of time while this is going on, this is what I have to do to protect you. Like there are some sick individuals. They can do so much more than they've ever been able to do. Mm -hmm. They can figure out so much more. Like if I wanted to, bro, I could figure out where you lived at. Yeah. I could get go to find where your kid goes to school. Yep. You know what I mean? Like this shit's easy now. Nowadays, yeah, bro. Nothing. You know, so nothing. I don't know how else to defend them than somebody be like, "Look, I got my fucking guy. So if you come here, I'm gonna try to kill you. But if you try to take I my kid, regardless, I'm gonna always know where my kid's at. There's, there's kids to this day, bro. Their body's never been found. Yeah. You're talking about that would be eliminated. Matter if they killed them or whatever happened, like that would right. be eliminated. It's, 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 it's not gonna protect them because you'd have to see it immediately. Like that shit would have to notify you as soon as they were taken. Like right. hey, your kid, your kid's traveling faster than twenty five miles an hour, which means they're in a car. Well, we're talking about, instant, like I said, we're talking about a future tech. So yeah. we could do things like that. I mean, it could yeah. be. I can think of yeah, very well, I mean, simple things. Like, traveling at an accelerated say, speed. Say, you, like, means, what if he like? What if there was a certain thing he could do? I put it in his fingertip and just like double tap. Well, like, uh, even that. You let's, know, say, or something. let's say. Let's say. Let's say you don't check yeah. on him for thirty minutes. You yeah. go look thirty minutes. He's gone. Uh, yeah. Where's he at? Well, he's only thirty minutes away. You know, you have you know exactly where he's at. There's no hiding. Right. Right. Straight up. Even if you even if you were late, you know. Yeah, you'd be able you would to find know where he was at all the time. That you yeah. had to look. But like just, Mike, I, Mike said, though, within that first two hours is usually when it happens. So, you like, you got to get on it. You don't oh, check we, that shit within two hours. The, we can get yeah. there. Oh, yeah. We can get there. Well, we can talk about the at. alerts, yeah. like you're saying. Like, oh, you already have all those alerts. So, you could be like, oh, when he's at school, 
the school is where this box is at. If yep. he leaves there, I'm, I'm automatically yep. alerted, right? Things yeah. like that. Cops notify shit like you that. Know? Yep. Yeah, like it's also tech we can't even envision right now in our head. Yeah. Like they, they, they would come up with too. There could be something that's in sync with the school, like a school app, you know, that could yeah. – maybe it's like he only does that while he's at school or on his walk home he carries something. Yeah. Right? right? Like at the times where – where it's necessary maybe it's like you could put it in a shoe or something like that like so he, remember they did a the kids need trackers that's where i'm at kids <laughs> yeah, need trackers yeah, yeah, yeah. however you want to get it on them get it on them but it needs to not be seen and not be noticeable Removable, that's the thing like that, yep so he usually keeps his predators would do it so, yeah like, that's keep, that's a way yeah so, that's definitely a predator a if he knew where it was at and it was removable would cut it out of them somewhere he, he would and would do it yeah to to not be caught mm mm-hmm. I'm or just thinking of every they would just way to do what they're doing within a fucking. Well, they do it as anyway. Fast as they could. No, but I mean, as fast as they could. Yeah. Well, that's like, what they're doing oh, now. It's almost like two hours. Yeah. It's like no time. So it's like, oh, you know, the GPS is. They're not going to be able to fucking they could be find me with it this time. Yeah. So and what if you could, like, what if you could share that immediately to, like, a police app if you wanted to? Oh, yeah. It could be doing You know what I mean? Like, you could literally share police. Bam. This is my son. He just got taken. Bam. Boom. No, no, they, know where like, they, go, they go get him. They go get him. And no. they know where he's going. Like this is yeah. this is a way faster response, bro. And it is a little bit of invasion, but like that doesn't sound like a great, you know. It is. So, you know I mean? bro, if something happens to your kid, you not would a bad not trade off. No, you would I, be so happy, bro, if you had that, that and, uh, and something would happen. No, I agree, but but it, it, my my problem came to the when when is the cutoff? When does it end? When is it okay? I feel like it? when he can defend himself. For you know, that's for you to so decide. like I think about yeah. like. For me, I feel like around like 14, I could have got away from an adult. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like somewhere around there, I think 13, 14 years old, depending on how you matures and shit. Right. Yeah. yeah. When yeah. I think that like – Depending on how stupid they are because if it's like motherfuckers yeah. like, yeah, they got candy. Like, like, oh, motherfucker going out like the market. He still likes candy. You know? God like, damn. I think, I think 14, I'm not beating an adult in a fight. No. But like I could push you off. I could get out of your arms. You're a little more aware, a little yeah. smarter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not going to walk up to a guy. To, you, would, would, you would see – you would be able to identify a threat sooner, you know, like – I already, Something suspicious. I already got my fucking son on it because I let him play online with people, yeah. and I don't like monitor it, monitor it like that. So we'd be on like Fortnite or whatever. And I'm asking, he I'm knows like, all the racial like, slurs. I'm like, you ever, like, you ever get like older dudes talking to you or whatever? And he was like, yeah, there was one. He, he like started asking me questions. He was like, I left the party. He was like, nah, I ain't. <laughs> like, I just fist bumped like my man. I was like, because I, I had to talk with him before, like. Dude, there's weird people. It was like adults you don't need to be in. Whatever, don't you don't need to talk to them. They ask any type of anything, just just back no out. Strangers, don't trust and them. Exactly. I'm like they don't they don't need to tell information. I've actually heard him like he'd be because he's got switch, so he'd be sitting in random fucking spots throughout the house, just wherever upside down on the fucking couch mm. and shit, tell, playing with somebody. Like that's weird. I don't know you. No, no, he just like say some <laughs> shit like that. Or he, one time he hopped in a party. He was like, "Hi, my name is Cannon. I'm five, so don't cuss." <laughs> I'm like, he jumped in, jumped in with fucking rules off the bat. That's a good embrace. Like, I feel like that it turns them though. It eventually, it gets, gets them. Just like it got us, right? Like yeah. eventually, yeah. you're in that. Oh lobby, yeah. Like shut the fuck up, yeah. bitch. <laughs> but, but but at that point, once he's that old, mom's a hoe. I don't have to worry about you know. Creeper status type shit. Right, yeah. You, you know what I mean? mean he knows that, that, that was yeah. my whole thing. Like, I was like, you know, why you're... Like, they're, they're his gonna, mom don't let him play at all. They're going like, to teach him all the slurs, dude. They're going to teach him all the slurs. You be right. careful. <laughs> Listen to this, right? One day, my, uh, my older nephew gets his first phone. He's like eight. My younger nephew's like six at the time. Maybe like ten, seven. Something like that, right? Some different mixture. Uh, long story short... They ended up telling – they tell my sister one day, they're like, yeah, we uh, we sent two pictures to Ariana Grande. And my sister's like, what, what are you talking about, you know? And they're explaining the story to me, so I got to tell it, you know, through. Yeah. And uh, they're like, yeah, he's like he, – somebody contacted them while they were on Xbox Live, messaged them, no, told funny. them to add them on Instagram. They go and get our Instagram – Add this person. It's Ariana Grande, and they really think it was Ariana. This what Ariana Grande was like a real thing too. You know when she actually was singing and shit. Yeah. They actually think it's Ariana Grande. Goes on there, ask them right for pictures. They're like, "Let me see your wiener." 
all types of weird shit oh, like that. Shit. My dumbass nephew, well, he's a kid, so you know he's not a dumbass. Sends him a picture of him and my other nephew. Thank God they weren't butt naked. They were they were in their boxers though. To Ariana Grande, they thought, right? Obviously, some old pervert. So it's probably out there somewhere. Yep, uh, it's a on the fucking of porn my two site now. In their boxers, they're like this. <laughs> next to each other like yeah Eric Grande wants this bro <laughs> it's crazy how, it's crazy how dumb you are as a kid you know yeah. what I mean like, yeah. it's wild bro uh-huh. like, oh my god yeah. thank god this got caught and you guys are idiots because like this guy could have Eric Grande's out yep. front yep you know what I mean come, come get my tour front. bus like, cra- yeah, exactly <laughs> crazy bro I like, it's funny, but it's not funny. You know, yeah. like, it's, it's funny because nothing happened they're from it. Exactly, yeah. like, exactly. They're gonna reach them any way they can. Yeah, I mean, you had fucking Al Qaeda using PS4 voice chats to transmit messages to each other. Like, <laughs> bro, you know some dirty shit that people do nowadays, right? If you say you were to post like an ad for sale, right, like on Facebook mm-hmm. or on Craigslist or something, you go on there, you post your shit. Right away, they're gonna message you, or they're gonna call. They're not gonna call you. They're gonna message you, right? Yeah. And they'll be like. They'll be like, um, is this for still for sale? And you'll be like, yeah. And they'll be like, I'm, I'm going to send you a six-digit code on an authenticator app. And just tell me what the code is so I can verify you're not a, a scam artist or a, a computer, basically. Uh-huh, yeah. And really what they're doing is going to your email, right? They put your email in there. Then yeah. they go to reset password. Yeah. And it goes send a code to the device, which is your anybody phone. shit with an email, bro. Imagine how many old people they get like that. They get that code. Oh, yeah. To That's me, when tough. I heard it, I was like, "This would actually make sense if they could build an app like this, where it's like two people could be like, this is who I am, this is who I am,' and send each other a code, and like you would know nobody was fucking with you. Right? Yeah. It actually sounds right. like a good idea. But then I realized, like, oh, this is because I got like six messages like this. They're all just trying to get in, to reset your password yep. on your email address. Yeah. I'm like, you it, dirty motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, emails need to be more fucking secure too. Because if you think about that, shit, Bro. you can get anybody shit Look, with an email. Sh- you, I can get your Facebook. Yeah. I can get your banking fucking. Your bank Look. fucking router number and shit. Yeah, from bro. Your, from your I've email. seen plenty like, of things happen. You gotta bro. be. Your apps are connected to it. Gotta be super careful with text messages nowadays too. I've gotten a couple where I'd say, oh, you know, the U.S. Postal Office tried to deliver a package. Click here to, you know. You bro, know. I had something like that too. Don't click it. I nope. forgot Do what it was. Do not click, click it. One of them got me though. Do not click but it. But see, bro. that's my. That's why you know when you're on the iPhone gang, though, bro, you got to be confident in your squad there. I mean, that, they're <laughs> supposed to take care of that. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Yeah, like they dude, promise that you can't get hacked, right? That's the whole thing. You, FedEx, they say you nothing, can't get hacked. They never text you unless you sign up for some type of text I updates. Know, and it's yeah. from a. It's from usually. A like five digit number. It's not even a fucking full number like motherfucker see. And got it, another good one the other day. Um, it was an email from Best Buy. We're talking about you know, someone tried to access my account. Looked legit as fuck. And I'm like, that's a little iffy. I don't even. I haven't even used that account forever. Like, huh? So I started looking it up, and you know, pretty much it was just like they had some signs to look out for for when it's a fake email. You know, I checked it out and it was fake. I was like, wow, like this man threw the spam filter, wow. threw the spam filter to my main inbox. Shit's like that's good. It's they're good, you know. You well, gotta like, be careful. What fucked me they is keep evolving, I, man. Yeah, bro. It's when like, I got that mail one, it was I was waiting on a package. I got ordered through Amazon, yeah, and exactly. then I got this message from most, the most post. people are waiting on a fucking package. Right, right. Like, right. How much true, Amazon true. Is used. Or and even got a mail, you know? fucking thing. I Everybody's thought, like, got a package in the mail. I was like, okay, maybe like Everybody. the postal office is delivering it instead. And then I fucking click on this thing, and like right away, I thought. How did the post office have my fucking number? <laughs> I'm never getting fucked got, up with my fucking number. Yep, yep, you yep. know what I mean? So yeah. I was like, God damn, it definitely got me. But that I know of, I've never been hacked. Thank so, God. Yeah, I mean, as soon as you click something like that, typically it's a phishing scam. They're able to, you know, get your information and access your email and stuff. And just from there, they can access pretty much anything. Right. Your, your yeah. email has fucking everything. Everything, bro. Everything. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Like but, everything you know, is connected I mean, to, to that shit. Credit, I just don't you know, know it is a Gmail's, fucking a password. You Gmail's pretty fucking... good. You know, what I mean, like I have some old emails I for the life of me cannot get into because I don't have that number anymore. Yeah. Or you know, like I don't have access to the recovery email and shit like that. And also for a device, like it needs any particular device to log in. Yeah. If it's a new and one that's notified, not recognized, it'll, it'll let you know. You. Yeah. Then you gotta give it uh-huh. access through your own email and whatnot. And yeah. I mean, like they do what they can. You know, motherfuckers yeah. are smart. Like, so and, Gmail, yeah. Gmail's good because it's the biggest one. 
And usually, if Man, if, if, other ones usually though, if yeah, someone's able to get in there, it's because you fucked up. You clicked the phishing link. You know, you yeah. took that call. You gave too much information. It's usually I mean, on your yeah. behalf. You gotta you know? learn. You know, they they adapt, and I had to learn. I had to click on that one time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's, they make the shit look good. They make this shit look good. That's they their, that's their hard. job. That's There's literally money behind it. Their fucking it's job. crazy because like just some Somalian dude probably sending out a hundred of them spams. It's always like these immigrants that are just straight out just hustling, bro. They're just trying to find a way to make it's some money. Easy they, way to get money, bro. I wouldn't give a fuck neither. I oh, would not give I'll a fuck anybody. Either. Like, oh, you dumb enough? I'll scare any fucking fuck body. Bro, that's I used to you. have a guy I worked with. He was selling three hundred dollars a week back to Africa. An African woman who was supposed to be coming over to meet him. She was taking half the money, according to him, and buying gold bars <laughs> that she was going to bring over here. Ended up taking the money. He's like, when are you coming? Blah, blah, blah. As long as she can. Takes thousands from him. I, like, I've heard so... And then, bro, I, there was another scary-ass one with this girl I know, right? She gets a call. Her grandma gets a call, bro, and saying she was abducted. They're like, we've got your, we've got your daughter. If you don't send us this to this, basically it was like a thousand dollars, then we're gonna kill her. And they had like some way of like knowing her job site. So like, I'm guessing it was this was all through the internet. They basically knew like this was her grandma. Yeah. This was her, and then they knew like where she worked at, which you could probably get off the internet too. Yeah. They were like, we're yeah, Facebook, Facebook has it, yeah. yeah. They were like, we're out for sure If you don't send the there, money, but... then then we're gonna kill her. Basically, she sent a thousand dollars, right? Then they were like, send another thousand. She sent another thousand. Got away with it, bro. Nothing never happened. Nothing yeah. ever got caught. Two thousand dollars gone. Yeah. Typically hard to trace that stuff back. You know, I mean, like I said, they're good. They cover up the tracks. Um, VPN and you can fucking computer generate a number. VPNs, burner phones, all types of different programs that people buy. Yeah. I mean, people buy. I mean, they have specifically to do this shit. They have coders out there. I mean, like you know, people code for Aimbot. Yeah. You know, I mean, people go and buy that and put those in their files. I mean, like people code software to find information like that. I mean, there's there's software that combs social media. Yeah. Um. I mean, it's pretty easy. There's a, a YouTube video that guy does where like he pretends to like put on like this like really deep dark voice and shit, mm. and it goes in Call of Duty and just based off their gamer tag was able to get access to their email, not the email like. Like in their email, but like the email yeah. address that's right. associated with, backtrace that and just be able to find pretty much where their IP is coming from. And yeah. the, hey, you live here, and then they get all freaked out, and scared. Right. But all that shit's super easy. Yeah. Your IP is all over the goddamn internet. Every every time you log on, yeah. you're sending it tells that signal. You where the fuck you're coming yeah, from. and you can trace that signal. Yeah. It's actually kind of cool. You could bring up that command prompt yeah. on the computer, and you could run a little test where you send a signal out. And you ping servers that you connect your your internet through, yeah. um, and they you know like cable companies and stuff. The technicians use that to figure out if it's a problem in the house or if it's like just along the server or something okay. like that, you know. Yeah. And uh, I mean, like it's just you send out that signal, I can bring it right back if you're not redirecting it with a VPN. Yeah, it's just tracking along. Yeah, and once you find that out, I find the address. All that's public public information. Who owns the house? The address. Once yes. I find out who owns the house, I get a name. I find relatives. Yep. Oh, it's all super easy to do. Yeah. Yeah. It's all you, out there. You just gotta be weird enough to fucking want to do it. Yeah, and people put Those their people, people put like, where hey. they work on Facebook, where they went to school, all shit like that. I mean, yep. they put, people even used to put siblings on there. Yeah. So you can mark people as uncle, nephew, yeah. sister, brother, mother. And, mother and now just that. doing stories, it's like you even have updated where people are at. That's how a lot of the rappers are getting killed, right? It's like they're yep. marketing that they're dropping in places and shit like that. People see that on social media or somebody around them drops it. And motherfuckers just know where you're at, bro. Got way more personal information than they ever had before. Mm-hmm. And they can use it however they want to use it. You can't it. do shit. Yeah. Now. And once you find out those a couple of those details, it's really easy to narrow out the others. And um, I mean, once you get a beat on somebody, I mean, with the technology that people have nowadays, easy to get access to their phone, their phone number, contact them. You know, you know where they work. I mean, it's all, it's all, we all put it out there ourselves. We all put it out there with oh, know, yeah, the intentions of just being like, this is who we are. And then yeah. no one will use it maliciously, but all for likes and yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. And you talk about security I questions know, too. Bro. That's the scariest thing I was thinking about. Yeah. Right. Like the crazy like, shit we do for fucking is that? But media what is attention. it for anything? Right. Anything like, what is it where you want somebody to see that? What is it Some that dopamine. makes us like you want somebody to see something of you? 
Right? Like, bad it is. Like, you're sharing a meme. Writing a status. Yeah. Like, you so, know what? You're like, look. Think about this. Look at me. You, you know? did MySpace, right? You did yeah. MySpace. You did MySpace. Hell yeah. You remember getting home, you log in, and you see those notifications. New messages. New blah, blah, blah. New blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah. Yeah, you're never happier. I don't know about y'all, but I was excited. Fuck I was yeah. pumped. And it, it was definitely a rush, and it was addicting. Like, I mean, like, it's just something wired in your brain for that type of notification or that type of thing to just be like, ah, yes. Like, it's, it's, it's like a strange uh, amount of people seek attention. It's just a dopamine world. button. You it's know? not it's everybody, just, but a, like a weirdly high amount of people seek attention. Yeah, but and like they're they're willing to do certain shit. Some people are willing to do a lot fucking more. than That's others, what I'm saying. Yeah, go way harder. You know. Yeah. Like if if you did some like you might do some tampons. funny shit, send it to a group chat. Yeah. It's like ha ha ha. You know what I mean? But when somebody's like literally hurting their self for likes on on you know what's that one juggalo guy? I mean, oh fucking, yeah, uh, the one that jumps on the bar fire and shit. Just, shit. Yeah. yeah he jumps on the bar wire. Like, it's like uh, fuck, bro. Like, what is going on here? Or like, like Ed Sheeran. Anything Ed for Sheeran clout. said such a good way of putting it, where he was like, "He's like, I see people post a selfie on Instagram. I want to ask them, are they okay? <laughs> you know, like, what's wrong? You need, like, you want some? You basically want you need attention? to be like, yeah. hey, you know, you're beautiful. You look good. Like, this is what you want, basically. You need that pick me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, uh, all the things that any of us post, you know, we enjoy when it gets that attention. I mean, it's just, yep. I mean, you're talking For about sure. something that is designed that way. You're talking about something that's made that way. Something in us innately has that want or need for affection. And then when we get that like or that comment, you know, and we read it, it just sends a, it just sends a rush through us. Well, well you don't want to be alone. You're forced to be alone, right? So like, even like, if we were just talking before, you know, you're like, yeah. I get the I get this cabin. I'm alone up here, and you know I was talking about like what? Mm-hmm. Why would you want to be alone? Like, have you ever really been alone, bro? Nope. You know, like where no one is there, mm-hmm. no one. You know, like you're just straight up alone. It, it, it's a weird feeling, bro. It's you're for it's, it's a forced feeling. Nobody yeah. wants it. Yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so I, I just feel like it's like a whole different path of understanding, like. Okay, now I have this thing that can make me not feel alone. You in know, my, in my pocket because at where all times. Before it was like you're alone, you're and alone. Now you can change it at any given time. And you so can talk like, to make a call. anybody. Oh, bro. I'm funny. Somebody will like this. You can talk to you anybody. Know? You comment on things that aren't even on your timeline. Like it's just like so on another page, on another page, on another page, and you're getting to you're talking to some random stranger, or you're on Discord and you're doing arguing about things. Fo- arguing about football stats. On Whatever football. it about is, memes, bro. Well, you're you got someone that. Occupy that, that time. You know? Xbox party. You're in the Xbox lobby. You're fucking playing World of Warcraft like, where all these fucking people around talking to anybody. Like, but we, well, we split up the other day. I was just like, I was really, you know, I got this tea. I'm sitting there having my what, revelation. What, that, and I was like, are you comfortable alone? Like, first of all, who who's really been alone? Where like you're, no one's with you. You know what I mean? Like at all? You've got like no one at all. Who's really been to that point? And then when you are there, like, are you comfortable there? Yeah, or you do be you with have yourself. to? Like you're, that's, that's bro, well, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, cause there comes a point where you're like, you feel like you have to literally pick up that phone, and even if you're not gonna share something, you want to see something somebody else did. Yeah. It's like something that just like it you don't really, comment on it. And, like, are you really com- well, any, you well, at any given moment, the, the stuff that we consume nowadays is always made by someone else. No matter it be a movie, TV show, YouTube video, what yeah. you saw on Reddit, what you saw on your Facebook feed, oh, what you took pictures. Yeah. I mean, like anything that you go on that phone, it's gonna be end up being made by somebody. Like it's just it's coming from someone. You know, yeah. you just want to have and, that interaction. And it all it all circles back to the shit from earlier of of entertainment. People have to be entertained. It's weird. Like they they can't just. Chill. Yeah, they can't. Get, yeah. They can't just be you alone got shit or else to We're do. super overstimulated. Hey, <laughs> we, it's, it's like we're we're advanced, but now we've come to the point where we don't need to be this advanced because everything we have is, is to sustain us. All of our shit now is is sustainable, and we we're kind of like still like we got we got to figure out what the fuck to do. <laughs> With all this brain power, now that we don't have to struggle to survive, now that we don't have to think yeah. how to fuck kill, we've play, got time pray. to think now. And, and, yeah. now, and now we don't want to think. We want to <laughs> fucking sit there and be numbed out by media. And they've got media video drugs. after video and after it's video after number, video. It's like one of the number one selling fucking things is entertainment. You can sit there and scroll Everything. on that phone forever on that video. Sports, sports it's so easy. Yeah. 
They made it so movies. easy. You, you two, music. Yeah, fucking music. Yeah. They saw that you liked Books. doing this. They and it's know crazy because like, like it's weird to think that you can think about when they first did that. Uh-huh. Like that was recent. That's that not even recent, like yeah. three yeah. years old. It feels like. Yeah. like that's like one or two years old. <laughs> And they know you just want to be like, bang, 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 bang. And you're be that's what I'm saying. You have to discipline yourself, bro. Like, like I literally got to tell myself, we're done. Like, I'll give myself, you know, okay. You already know. This is, this is after. You don't realize to discipline yourself until you already abused it, right? Yeah. You've been there for 30 minutes. And you're like, whoa, what's going on here? So instead of me just being like, eh, throw my phone, <laughs> I'll be like, okay, you know, five minutes, we'll get off here. We're about to start dinner, do some setups. Like, you know, you have to, like, set these rules, I feel like. Yeah, the same you gotta, thing. You got to parent yeah. yourself. Yeah. You got to parent yourself. Exactly. And that's, all, that's all being a fucking adult is. Yep. Just being in your head, <laughs> like, yeah, and take the fucking not, trash out before it stinks, But you it's so like, easy to just dish this tomorrow, trash tomorrow. I want to yeah. sit down. I want to play the game. And it's, and it's yeah, made I mean, to be that way. It's made to distract us. It's made to fucking... Don't want to cook. I want to order. Exactly. You know what I mean? Oh, like, it's just, like, damn, I'm kind of hungry. And then fucking five minutes, you go on Facebook, you're going to see a fucking ad for food. And it's... Well, I mean, like, I think there's a lot of times, you know, like, you know, it's just like when you're sad, you listen to a sad song. You're hungry, it's like, ah, come on, watch some cooking videos, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of want to see, yeah, I want, oh, we better that's do them ribs, boy. Oh, that's a tease <laughs> at that point. <laughs> I do. That's oh, like who, four who has the best lobster roll in Maine? <laughs> Man, I, I feel like, like, for, I mean, it's definitely first world thing, but, like, that's definitely one of the things I celebrate is food. Yeah, you know, like, yep. I like spending my money on my food. I don't, that's I don't really, treat, that's I, to treat yourself. That's, the thing I is, deserve this. Like, if, listen, I, the thing about it, right, is you told me, bro, I make great. If you was like, oh, bro, I make great ribs, right? Yeah. I, I would go buy those ribs. I would pay for them, right? I would pay for some good ribs, bring them to you. Well, you know, we'll I, cook I, had them this, I had this place I went to yesterday. It was fucking delicious. You know, like, I yeah, it's going to be there. You can be like, I would exchange some. Let's say we don't even live in this world, right? And we all just are, you know, primitive. You can cook. I you can cook. I'm willing to do some other shit. What time is it? Nine o'clock. Oh no! Okay, we're sneaking up. Rico's. I don't know how long we've been on here. I love Rico's. <laughs> you know what? Actually, bro, I, think, I think Rico's is kind of good downhill, too. bro. I do like I it. I'll go to original spot. That place yeah, always, original that, that place is always lit, but it's, man. It's going downhill, man. It really is. But I tell you what, it's different. If you want, you go to that original one we're doing Holland Town, and that's a little bit of a bop. You go there about six o'clock. They're always pulling out fresh chickens. You're welcome. <laughs> always, man. Every time. I usually it's, like going great late. I like it because it's a little overcooked though. I like great advertising. I love when that shit comes out fresh. I'm just like. There we go, my man. You can chop that shit up. Let's go. I'm trying <laughs> to get the pupusas. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's the other thing. You know, up. like with, with cultural food, like you spend your money on food like that, you're not making some pupusas at your house. No. no. You're not Tia. Even Come on now. Don't money, kid yourself. I don't make that shit like that. I'll don't kid offer yourself. you an hour of I mean, that's service. One of the, that's one of the benefits of like where we live and, and the like consumerism that we have. Yes. The fucking variety oh, of, yeah. of some shit. You don't get variety for like. Who, who's fucking I wish we had, my electricity? I wish we had that street but food culture, like, bro. That, that's us, bitch. Bro, bro. Clothes. Exactly. I wish, I wish so we really had that street food culture that some of those countries have where like, people just be fucking cooking up whatever the fuck bro, on the side, bro. We yeah, do, then, uh, but it's not here. Because I'll tell you what, when I was in Miami, every weekend. Every vendor up that bitch. Bro, huh? every weekend, all New along that beach, they did for like seven, eight, nine, ten blocks. Like, New York got the street shit. food, too. Yeah. That's because people were actually going to be there. Yeah, and spend money. Yeah, yeah. anybody you, you don't see that shit. People ain't go trying to barter you and shit. You go down, Boulevard, you go down anybody, Baltimore, you're getting bartered, bro. But this, yeah. this is the thing. We're like, robbed. <laughs> like you know, like we we suffer in America from just like in in most places as just terrible city design, man. We've done it. We've done terrible city design I'm for dating. so long. It you started look at what, out. You look at what places like I mean, like it's it's all over Europe. They do it. Yeah, Europe. I mean, not Europe. Uh, yeah, um, Spain, Barcelona, like all they have these blocks, and within those blocks they have the, all these walkable areas and districts and shit. You go to places like Netherlands, Switzerland, they all have they all travel by bike and shit. Not yeah. because be, they want to, they make it super bike friendly and make it terrible right. for cars. We cater to cars way too fucking much. What are, like, that's because when like like Baltimore and all this that bitch shit. is huge though. What America? Yeah. Oh this bitch yeah. Is huge. Yeah, fucking <laughs> ridiculous. But when Baltimore like Baltimore started. This shit was all for horse and buggy, and it was built to fucking sell shit. Mm-hmm. So, and then they just developed it slowly from there. So it fucking it fits closer to horse and buggy and shit like that. It's all fucking condensed because it was supposed to be condensed. It was supposed mm-hmm. to be easy. There was to never supposed to be fucking cars. Shit. No, not cars. No one ever planned this many was, cars. Exactly, it wasn't supposed to be cars. It was designed for that shit for what easy even, fucking what even like, and then just slow development of oh shit cars and now we gotta accommodate and now even it's like 40 years ago though like cars were not like 
You know, I mean, the car ownership has just continuously, you know, oh, yeah, now grown you over the years. That whole three cars and there's one person well, that lives there. Well, and then shit. you got a Greek town where like you don't got enough street for as many fucking cars as people own. You got yep. three cars per household nowadays. Yep. Absolutely insane. But that's just because how if 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 the buses were much they better, if they're they were cheap. better, yeah, they're if you had terrible. light rails, look, at one point in America, you could travel from Maine all the way to Wisconsin via only electric uh, trolley cars. Crazy. Literally. This, picture this though, right? <laughs> tomorrow. Great. Right. I got an <laughs> idea for that. Too. Tomorrow, Why? all the cars that are not fully paid for are off the streets. How many cars are there? Ooh. Not a lot. Is that like 10%, 20% all cars, of all that, cars right? Are financed, yeah. it's, it's, it's all about the booming economy. That's, that's why I that's feel like there's so say. many so cars. Look, it's like, buy America, a car, buy a car, refinance, trade your shit in, buy a new car. Uh, like, mm-hmm. Back in the 50s and all that, when fucking Detroit GM and all that shit, like Detroit had GM. $300 for a whip. <laughs> yeah, well, not even that, though. It was the fact that America was benefiting from that. And with the trolley cars and all that shit. That, that's not so much a, a business. That's right. more of a this service point, yeah. that uh, you have to pay, and the, the, your pay and is to just they keep it pushed, in service. Yeah. It's not the profit. The government's taking an L. With, they push exactly them. with the with the fucking pushing the cars. They're profiting, yeah. so they kind of stopped the fucking they funding of that road shit. trips. They put a, they had a whole road trip campaign for that shit. Yeah, right, it, like, it look, was, it was hey, fucking... you, you you hop on your drop top and you go on a fucking road trip eight hours. You go to Ohio real quick, like <laughs> right. Yeah, but then like see, state, I feel like state see the, just see the country that. because now it's like Maryland. They don't want you to travel to another place and go spend money. No. Maryland does not want that for no. you. Any of people here in Florida don't want even Florida or California. They don't want nobody to go and spend no, they want money. There. They want spend money there. here. Yeah. That's, to... that's why they're putting all that money into fucking in, Inner Harbor now, bro. No, because they're like this is the only fucking thing that we. You know have. what's crazy? I remember cutting school back twenty two thousand eight two thousand nine high school. We would go cut go downtown. Go to Harbor. No matter what time of year it was, tourists every yep. fucking it, where, it man, is. all over. That Harbor used to jump, dude. Yeah, yeah that but place it's like was literally those, the only thing, bro. All those and little that's why plazas, all that money bro, back into it. But the that's national, the only thing that Baltimore has. Even if you did, it's not the National Aquarium. Uh, it's like one of the biggest on like the East Coast. The one in Baltimore. Yeah, one of the largest ones on the East Coast here. Yeah. People try. People would come here for that heart, for that aquarium, and yeah. like people enjoyed Baltimore. It was weird, bro. It was a different time. Closer to the water you are, safer you are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Play well, the yeah. water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people love some that water. Just calls people down. <laughs> Don't yeah. buy the water. It's like brown water. Nah, that's, where yeah. money, that's where the money is. The fucking patrol is on heavy well, there. People love that water, man. People love that waterfront shit. They yeah, do. It, whatever, it, it started out. It started out because that's how you fucking shipped everything. I was looking in, in the harbor the other day while I was driving down Boston Street, and I look over. It's pitch, pitch black outside. I'm just like, man, look, that looks so fucking crazy out there. It's just so dark. It's just a big ass body of water. I know. I always wish I, I could see it that. without the water. Mm-hmm. I just seen a fucking. It's a big ass body of water. Just a whole picture of the harbor sticking to this fucking earth. There's like an old picture of the harbor I just seen though. It was all fucking businesses though. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was, it was all so industry. industry. Because that, that's how it started. That's you know how yeah. the harbor came to be, but. It was weird seeing it as, like, not a tourist attraction. Like, Domino Sugar still down there, obviously. And, like, there was a couple other fucking businesses. And it, it's weird to see how it how it switches. Like, they still want to make money off the harbor, but it's not the same type of money that they were making. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's, I mean, not, like, it's not consumer. It's not fucking businesses. It, now it's well, no, tourism. Right. Let me, so they're like, let's is, make this is, shit pretty, even though we don't fair? fucked it up. Let's just say, right, let's say, I don't know when they come to Baltimore. When they start building that. I don't know, fucking 1800s, something yeah, like yeah, that. Yep. Let's just say, right... They build that waterfront right there. There's 20 spots that cover that water right there in the front row. And there's 20 families that buy each spot. And over to 2022, those 10 families still own those or those 20 families still own those 20 spots. Yeah. You think that's fair? I mean, you purchased it, you know. Yeah. Say well, so. no one else was there. No one else was there, but I mean, <laughs> you know, hey, we take it from them. Who would you purchase <laughs> it from? Take it from, you know. Who would you pay? <laughs> Whoever owned it before that, you know, they bought. That's it. Say they bought it for eight hundred dollars. It was at zero. We they made a good buy. Owned it, they, I found they it. Kept it in the and family. Then you bought it. Kept it in the family. <laughs> I, they got that deed. People that, people that found it, like that's there. Yeah, they got they that were, deed, like, you know. Yeah. Finders keepers, motherfuckers. Otherwise, you get some pretty crazy shit. You Ain't know, where it's like you know, some eminent domain, or some people just take it from them. You know, the eminent domain but is crazy to me. I mean, too. you bought, you bought it. You kept I, it. You kept I, it. You passed it down. Kept it in the family. I used to think that too, but to me, it's really not that crazy because I can't force you to sell. 
You know what I mean? But I do kind of have to have a way to force you to sell, bro. It is pretty wild to me that like 20 families of 20,000 families could be like, oh, we got to these shores first and we bought all this up. It's like, Very who? true. Okay, Very true. well, you yeah. didn't pay the city because there was no city. <laughs> you didn't pay the government because there's Very no true. government here. Yeah. So you're saying that between each they other. Just, they just went, this is mine. Exactly. Exactly. And, and, had a, and had a gun. That's like, why I this said, is who my did shit. you pay? You didn't pay nobody. Yeah, you were yeah, the yeah. first here. You wrote those deeds, and yeah. then you say, I paid this. But really, you paid – I gave this person a 1000 He gave me a 1000 I paid a 1000 He paid a 1000 right? Nobody paid shit. We all just own this property now. It's all fugazi. And unless somebody fucks up the bag and goes bankrupt or signs this shit over – You've got it forever. You've got it forever, bro. And, bro, that goes deep in a – a bunch of ways, like, even from the small scale. Like, when you go over there to, like, East Fayette Street and shit, bro, that's old. That's all owned by a lot of, like, old gangsters and shit, bro, that were getting hella money in Baltimore back in the day, bought that property, turned it into those shops, and now, like, either are still doing their thing or, you know, are out of the game and now own these businesses and these houses that are around here. Like, this is what you do, bro. You grab this shit up and you hold on to it with a death grip. Yep. And that's yeah. why we... Like, it sounds fucked up, but we even had to tax you when you die. Because these people you are not kept, getting rid just of kept, it, yeah, dog. You kept passing like, it on. Long as I don't fuck the bag up, for 300 years, I, this was my shit. My family's set for life. You know what I mean? Like, it sucks, but I don't, I'm not saying I want to be the guy that's like, hey, your family did good. You got to sell. But at the same time, like, I, damn, well, there's so many other people now. You did some fucked up shit to get that. We know it. <laughs> and in the beginning, we know you killed some about. Indians and yeah, shit. Yeah, like, we work at each other. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, Whoever and, had a rifle claim. <laughs> we're talking about like you know, play pretty much, pretty much every single nation in this country or in in this world nowadays is having some type of housing crisis. Whether you look here, London, you go to Germany, you go to Here's France, there's a fucking stupid. housing crisis. Here bro. is it's stupid though because there's so much fucking land and they just they just. Are leaving it. Yeah. I mean, uh, I think in, in Germany yeah. recently, they just seized like 300 properties back from private companies because there was just one company that's who owned all this big shit. Big China, China same owned thing. this shit. That's you what know? that big, big fucking company yeah. that's going on is yeah. the private. I feel like private companies shouldn't be able to fucking own. It, it's the, and turned from a, like, a human right to a residential, commodity. Residential it fucking. It became traded on the places. stock market. I like that. <laughs> like, and now, all right, yeah, you want to buy commercial places? It, okay, they cool. They buy it with credit. Like, yeah. they're getting loans, you know what I mean, that you would never be able to get. Exactly. And they don't even pay off the loan before they sell the shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that, that doesn't even make no fucking sense, bro. Once it, they turn into a, a commodity, an investment vehicle to make money now, off of, then you, it, you it figure, became fucked. It look, you look at stocks, right? Companies go up and down all the fucking time. You look at real estate, that shit almost exclusively goes up. Bro, yeah. from the beginning of It'll time, go down a little the, bit, but it ain't going far. The but it's going per, to go up. The price per acre per year has not gone down in over 30 years since they recorded it. It's right. never gone down $1, bro. I mean, at times it'll be lower, but at the end of the year, the average okay, is that it was that's, 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 that's what I was saying. $5, with the, with the $10. Estate, like, it'll, it'll go and down this, a little bit, but it ain't always, fucking going This far. is where like, I don't think anyone really has an answer where it's like, okay, we just infinitely grow on these prices. The the it's, home this this home here will continue be, to go it's going up to become in price. Too expensive to live infinitely. Nobody's willing to take less. It goes infinitely. Exactly. Nobody wants to take you less. Know? No. No one has. It. I mean, like, all when, these fucking billionaires could literally change the world. When does that end? Easily. They could, but at you the same buy a time, fucking like, town and and build a fucking town and be like, yeah, well, the is housing same. is uh this price for these. It's like say you say they built the town and like they, they fucking they sold it for cost. You you remember when they said they that about Elon though? And he responded to it. Yeah, give me he, give me a way to do it. He was like, "Show me, show me that seven billion dollars would end world hunger, and right. I'll give it to you." Exactly. And they couldn't. And they couldn't. They couldn't. But this, because, like, imagine right now, like, how many people in your life right now do you trust with money? Like that would literally, you could delegate money to, and they would get the job done. Like three. Three, right? Exactly. Yeah. So now you gotta hope you and three people can exactly. this whole fucking town and do every single thing. You know, get yeah. the water permits, electricity. Like, yeah. it's a lot of fucking work. And then you would have to maintain Damn it sure because is. you can't trust nobody to maintain it. Damn you sure. You think is. like, oh, if I let people in but here, if, they're gonna take advantage sold, of if me. You, if you sold it instead of renting it, if you sold it at cost, it's no longer your, none of your concerns. That's what they. So yeah, no that's, yeah, that's yeah, but what they, things go yeah. bad and so on. And you gotta have, you gotta know that these people can take care of the property. That's at what that they, point, once you sell it, it's over. It's theirs. That's what they speculate now. They speculate the landlord bubble. 
So many people became uh, property investors, house yeah. flippers, yep. landlords. That you know, there's a there's a huge disparity among people who own homes. It's mainly among these multiple people who rent out these homes now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have you guys noticed? Right? Okay. Okay. So when I when I got my my job before the one I got now, right? I got it with my cousin, and the first day he said, "Don't let this job make you lazy," right? Because he knew I was a hard worker. But this job, you could you could be lazy. You could take Those all are the best jobs, right? You could just be <laughs> easy, bro, and not really have to do much. Like ten percent of the effort I was putting out. Mm-hmm. Eventually, bro, I, I went from a hundred to ninety to eighty to. I just got lazier and lazier and lazier, right? Yeah. And I, at this point, I'm not even that good of a worker. I'm just lazy, you know. Like I'm, I'm still better than these guys, but I'm doing the bare minimum. Yeah. I feel like sometimes it's the same way when you talk about like giving these people these things. You know, it's like. Okay, you gave them this, but they yeah. didn't earn it. So do they respect it? No. Because for me, I'm ca- bro. When I open shithole, exactly, it really is. There's no, there's very few homes in there that are respected. But like for me, if I open up this window, I'm gonna be careful because it's my window. Like yeah. this is my home. You know, I gotta worry about every single thing. I earned everything yeah, in here. Yeah. Where yeah. like if somebody gave it to me and it's like something went wrong, I'd be like, oh, well, I can pay to fix that. I didn't pay for nothing else. Your mindset's different. Yep, sure you know is. what I mean? Yep. So sometimes it's like. I don't know if you can just be like, oh, well, here, I built these homes. You poor people go live in here because, like we're saying, a lot of motherfuckers, we right. know they aren't. But, but all right. still, so I'm we said that about money. Them, but stop selling them at, at profit. Right, okay. Well, stop let's, selling them at a ridiculous I amount. Get, I like, get it, but I'm saying like as far as the tenant goes, right? So yeah. we said that about money. You said three people. Yeah. How many people do you know can take care of a home? You mean like entirely? Yeah, like well, like by themselves yeah. could clean a house inside, yeah. landscape outside, take care of things that go wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like could maintain a home. I mean, for the basic shit, most people can do the basic shit. You think so? Okay. I mean, I'm. Just, I'm I mean, for, for, I don't think it's, I know. It's, dep- it's depending on how much, how how in depth you want to go with it. Okay. Well, well I don't want landscaping. Wanna... Most people can do landscaping. I don't want to come at nobody. But I feel like most houses I go into aren't even properly cleaned, bro. That's and I'm not saying I got sadly. the cleanest house in the world, yeah. but I'm not leaving dirt around. You know what I mean? I'm constantly yeah. sweeping, things like that. Like I think – I don't even know how many people like keep up their house it's on the cleanliness. Less, less than it should be, sadly. You know, you know? Like, I don't really <laughs> yeah. know alone with that. And then mm-hmm. like people that I think like could fix something if someone wrong in the house. And yeah. like you know, also if they couldn't fix it, could afford to fix it. Or you know, are willing thing. to if, do the work. Look, look at how much, look how much money goes that we make go straight to housing, straight to rent, straight to mortgage. Yeah, mortgage, all that shit. How much? How much? What's the average on it? How much you think at this goes point? to what you make versus how much goes to rent? Oh, I mean, shit. What? Forty, forty percent. Right. I think. I think the. So like a mortgage thing that says like your your mortgage should be more than forty percent of what you make. Which is still pretty fucking high. Yeah, I think it's like it's like thirty percent or some shit or twenty five. Like, is it twenty? It's it's super. It's not that high. It's super low. Yeah, they say you should go but, for like twenty five, thirty percent, which is pretty un, pretty unreasonable nowadays. Yeah, right. if you're thinking about thousand dollars, four thousand. Nobody yeah. can live what the suggested fucking thing is. Like no one. No. If you if you fucking are for, for instance like two hundred twenty thousand dollar house, if you put nothing down and you buy it, your mortgage is like sixteen hundred dollars mm-hmm. a month. Dude, I make twenty four dollars an hour. Mm-hmm. I bring home seven hundred a week. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I could barely fucking afford that for sure, bro. <laughs> right, like fucking barely. That means like I would have to have my car paid off before I fucking went and bought that. Yep, just to avoid that. That's why everybody and needs two income homes now. A- mm-hmm. Exactly. You know, like it's kind of sixteen hundred dollars yeah. for a fucking not even like a two hundred twenty thousand dollar house is shit now. No, it's not. They're, they're, no. they're a three bedroom, eleven hundred square foot. Yeah, and, if, and it's and not even in a nice neighborhood. Yeah, you it's hope it's fucking, a row. It's you, hope it's a, you hope it's a single family. It, yeah, exactly. A lot of times, two twenty, that gets you a corner row home. A, a newly remodeled a corner townhouse. Yeah, you know, it'd be like newly remodeled. We got a new fridge and tile in there. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> newly remodeled. Fuck yeah, it. it's all gray. Like, yeah, it's just, it's it looks like, like the same on. fucking house. Everybody Laminate else's flooring. Shoes. Come on now, like yeah. I mean, it's 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 absolutely ridiculous. Two hundred twenty thousand, and that is. Bro, you guys coming at my house? Huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> on the corner, all gray. <laughs> yeah, all shit. gray inside. I everything. can't help the prices. 
You know, but the thing is, but, but, but I'm saying when if, you're paying sixteen hundred for a house point, you own, it's a lot so easier than when you're paying sixteen hundred for an apartment that you rent. Exactly, you but that, that, that too. But I, I meant like housing in general. Like if you're paying that much, it's nice to not fix that, anything. If you're paying that percentage <laughs> so nice. of your, <laughs> if you're paying that percentage of of your you know monthly income is going straight to just living in the fucking house, you ain't got, you can't afford to call somebody to fucking. Juice. Hey, come out! It's seven hundred ten dollars for the. You can't. You can't afford to do that. But if you're paying your shit, like, oh yeah, this house was one hundred fifty thousand dollars for the you know same similar house, three bedroom, eleven hundred square foot, one hundred fifty thousand dollars. You're like, oh shit, that makes my mortgage like, with nothing down, like, yeah, and shit, nine hundred. Yeah, before eight hundred. Now it's getting crazy. Now, and now you now you got that fucking seven hundred dollars a month, and difference if something look, goes wrong. Look, you, you can afford to save, and you can afford to do other shit with it. Well, look, you factor in, like, I'm not nowadays, saying make the houses free, though. I'm, I'm just saying make them, like, Nowadays, reasonable. you're looking at, what, they say, like, 65% of Americans, you know, don't have savings. Like, they, yeah. they're going to go, they go one paycheck. month. They want to have no month paycheck to paycheck. You're talking yeah. about, like, shit like that. Like, I mean, like. And, and look at what the most of it is going to. A lot of it's fucking housing. It's all right. It's probably all oh, housing. A lot, sure, a all lot housing. of it is fucking rent. Oh, Unless, almost imagine being a single me. fucking, like, parent. And you're you're hey, fucking fuck. solo on that rent. You're yeah. looking at your kid like, oh, you gonna pay half? Yeah, I mean, look, let me I better get a YouTube like, channel together. Child or labor something. laws, we gotta put it aside nah, for better, a moment. They get, they get the fucking YouTube channel or some shit. Y'all open it. Sell some fucking lemonade, kid. Yeah, because goddamn. Something, and it's it's like the housing is fucking ridiculous. And and, and like a food, one bro. a one bedroom, two bedroom apartment is fucking eleven hundred, twelve hundred, thirteen hundred dollars. You you feeding yourself for seven days for fifty dollars is like as cheap as it could possibly get. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty much. Literally, like you need a hundred dollars a week to be able to feed yourself. Yep. So that's yeah. four hundred right that's, there. That's four hundred right like, there. Right? That's literally if you and want now, if you want to do like okay you you grow some chicken and then you you steam vegetables. That's that's what that will get you. Yeah. Right. You know, like, meal, yeah, right. You know, like yeah. Right. Especially so nowadays. Is, yeah. Right there, you're talking about five hundred a month. You know, and then you talk about like on the cheap end, like my mortgage here is eleven hundred. That's on the cheap and that, end, and that's just yeah. you know what I mean. So let's that just is. say, but right there, I'm at sixteen, yeah. right? A hundred for BG&E, yep. seventeen. That's and that's a low BG. Right, I, I'm just I'm just go- yeah. my BG is more than that. There's I know, like, I'm just saying you were going low. I'm going low, right? Exactly. I'm just saying to keep zeros, right? Right, yeah. So it's like you're at fifteen, right? Yeah, yeah, fifteen, right? To sixteen, right there. Yeah. Seventeen for Comcast, hundred for Wi-Fi, internet. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's not including like if you want like Netflix and things like that. You oh, know, yeah. shit, shit like that. Water bill, your phone bill. Yep. Your car, and your car another, insurance. Another hundred. Well, shit, I'm, I'm You're talking about two K plus, bro. I'm, you know I'm, what I mean? Like absurd I'm amount. Yeah. I'm at four hundred a month for my fucking Don't car. Get not, that's not that's not to mention fucking insurance. You get absurd, you, you get bro. no health insurance for it. Like, oh, no, we, I can't even go to the <laughs> hospital. <laughs> can't, you, bro, I was at the diner. This guy's working with a fucking broken pelvis. He's like, I can't can't afford not to. Been there, you know, bro. Now, can't afford bro, not I got to. in a fucking traumatic accident. And went to work the next day because, like, I'm thinking the same thing, you know? Like, I'm about to pay a big-ass bill, and I'm not going to have money. So I told you about my foot, right? I fucked my foot up. That's why I didn't hoop for, like, that, mm-hmm. that long time. I tore a planter plate in my fucking foot. Oh, shit. And there's literally, like, a tendon that goes on the, along the ball of your foot. My ass was at work with a golf ball-sized foot. Like, it looked like a golf ball was underneath of my foot. And I had to take the insoles out of my fucking work boots just to fit my, just to squeeze my fucking foot in to work. And I'm like, this is fucking ridiculous. The fact that I'm like, hey, yeah, I'm, I'm fucking broken. I got to be out for like two weeks or but, whatever. And the fact I'm like, there's no way I can afford to. But was there's had, absolutely not, no fucking way I can. Had, and it, it took longer to heal. It's still fucking, still kind of fucked up. It's been sucked. like four months. Yep. It, went, it went in the news. This guy had emergency heart surgery. It costs. It's gonna cost him two hundred fifty thousand dollars. That point, just kill me. The bill that he that he got sent. It, it was like it was like okay, it's uh you know six thousand dollars a month over thirty months, or you could pay two hundred fifty thousand dollars by eleven five twenty twenty two. It literally said that on the goddamn bill. It is literally the most Crazy, broken bro. shit you could probably ever like, fucking see. going into collections, y'all can find me. Oh uh, yeah, you, like, you literally you can you just die. You, call, you, you just die. You exactly. call. I'd be like, just so kill there's, me. It's not there's a lot of places it. that provide so financial sad. aid and will help you get a lot of that taken care of. But still, oh really? What do you get? T- we get left with sixty. What yeah. the fuck? I don't make sixty k a year. If I was left with sixty, I'd be happy. I'd be so, like, you know what? I'm alive. Yeah, except you can go Wait. to Canada. You should, you and should their just, fucking health insurance would be like, yeah, we got you. I probably love you, it, you, cool. you know. But like, I think at that point, to be honest with you, I wouldn't even be worried about money. 
I wouldn't care if they charged me the two fifty. I you, wouldn't care if I was never had a dollar you, again. You say that until you your kids like, Dad, can I go get fucking? Until you got kids and shit like that, and your your kids like, can I go get a popsicle from the fucking corner store? And you're like, Nah, bro, we can't afford that. Yeah, but like, they're sitting there okay, like, look at yeah, the at, least, at least you're here, and then it's, look at it's, it's, the opposite. But then you feel way. like shit. Uh, the opposite way, right? Is that today's Die. your last day? Today's your last day, and I tell you, you can give me two hundred fifty thousand dollars, and you could live just one more day tomorrow. Would you pay me? Well, he should be dead. He'll be dead after Would you that, pay sorry. me? <laughs> Wait, okay. If I get, if I got one more day, you ain't getting the money because I ain't got it. <laughs> well, and if I'm dead, the next day. And if I'm dead, you like the devil's And if I'm dead, you'll pick that day. You'll pick that day, though. You'll take that day. That's the point. You'll take you that. You know day. what I'm saying? Like you're not, you're, not like, 250,000. Or you, what if what if they what if they broke it down of your kid has to? I was pay about to say 000. that. Yeah. So there's, there's and your kid would be like, yeah, I love my dad. The, yeah. the only thing and you're sitting there like, no, motherfucker, you're gonna be broke. I looked look this up before. Life. I'm like, I need another. I looked this up before because I told my I was telling my grandma one Fuck, time. Fucking put 500k on him two days. <laughs> I was I was telling my grandma because my kid probably would, and I'd be like, yo, you're a fucking idiot. I'm I was like, messing with her. I was like, before you go, you just gotta go ball out. Just go ball out real quick, you know, and. Yeah, I remember I was researching it one time, and the only thing that they can get entitled to to recover that debt is part of the person's estate that they try to pass on. Yeah. So they're entitled to any type of life insurance House. or any type of uh, estate that gets passed on. With housing. your debt, if you died, if I if I died, uh, any, I got anything you. that could be sold or you know uh-huh. would be passed on to my kids, they could then seize that or, to recover the debt. I got you. But kids can never be left uh, paying for that debt ever. Yeah. Right. Like, they can't be responsible. Nobody for can pay for nope. their debt, right? Nope. Only like you. they can seize your assets. Or they can seize any assets, from, which, yeah, which you, leaves your yeah, kid with, you, pass. you know, yeah, which yeah, leaves your nothing. fucking kids with nothing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know. Like they won't give you credit cards if you if you got cancer. Oh yeah, no, yeah, no. yeah. I'll just go the fuck off. Like, yeah, I'll be, I'll be balling the fuck <laughs> out. Like we yeah. in Miami doing coke off of hookers. Yeah, we like, eating good. We eat all that shit. I got an LLC. That's just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I got an LLC. I got a credit card. I got a two hundred fifty k on this credit card. I'm, Let's go. I rented this fucking Lambo yeah, for four man. grand a day. Comes back to like, what's one more day worth? You know, yeah, yeah, it really is. Yeah. Like yeah. we was talking before, like yeah. okay, listen. And to me, it's not worth my sacrifice of my kids' let's remove, future. Like, let's remove the money, right? Let's say tomorrow. Let's say you're you're dead today, or tomorrow you live an entire day full of pain. Would you live it? What's the pain? Cause I'm in pain every fucking day. Yeah, my back hurts, my foot hurts. <laughs> let's say like we're talking chemo, like excruciating pain, pain, like chemotherapy like, pain. Mm. Craig's like, like Craig's like I want to die. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, tired of pain. With I'm tired of pain. Of okay, misery. let me go, kid. You saying it's my last day? Thank God. Dude, I'm tired of pain. Oh God, catch me out. <laughs> all right, <laughs> I, I already have pain, man. What do you mean? <laughs> you just my explain back, my life, my dick, guy. My heart. <laughs> just, just take me the fuck out. Yeah, but I mean, I, I feel like it's worth it, anything. You yeah. know what I mean? You want so, one more day? So I don't know how much I'd care about the money, but I think that is fucked up. But at the same time, like. What if somebody's like, right? I like I take in. The, I'm not the best. I'm a smoker, right? But I take in the conscious about my health. What about the person who's just like, fuck my health? I'll smoke everything I want. I'm hitting vapes, smoking weed, smoking crack. You know, I'll eat whatever I want. I'm not eat no veggies. I don't drink no water. Like just the worst motherfucker. And then he needs a heart. And now like you got to pay with your taxpayer dollars. This motherfucker that clearly was like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You know. And then like, okay, what if like a child monster needed a heart? You know, fuck them, right? Like, there is there is certain things. <laughs> but, then, but then you start getting into the, the fine details of the semantics of it. Then, and then you got to put value on someone's life. And that's that's the fucked up part of it. You're literally putting value on that person's life. Yeah. Like, I my tax sucks. Out. What do you mean? Yeah, it's like, yo, he's, a, great, he's, he's a piece of shit. I'm great not paying that. This guy eats Big Macs three times a day. Right, but then then you're you're literally... What is Hartfield? Bro. But then a, you're literally rating... The value of someone's life. At I that know point. it's hard, and it, that's the a first weird one. There's a gray people, area there. Yeah, that kid was born like, with incurable heart, hereditary heart, uh, heart disease. He and this guy ate first. Big Macs every day, there was a three times a day. Like, this smokes on. crack. There was like, an like, alcohol, man. Fuck it, bro. Had cirrhosis of the liver. He got a new liver. Kept drinking. Came right back to work with drinking in the break room and shit, bro. Mm. You know what I mean? Yep. There's gonna be a kid that needs that liver. Mm-hmm. Yep. Born of unfortunate circumstances. Fuck that guy, bro. It's been fun, Doug. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. We a- appreciate it. After all our food, after all our food, buddy. Where, 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 where's your recommended food spot? You one food spot around here. Tell me where I got to hit. What's that? Around here. No, just, just one. Just you got one. Yeah. One. What's one I never? What's been a go to? You have a go to. Uh, let's see. You got Geno's and Towson. 
I've never been to Geno's. Geno's. Yeah. Geno's. Uh, Check G- out Geno's, Geno's crab cakes. Is that Geno's crab cakes? No. Nah. Like Geno's burgers. Oh, it's like an okay, upgraded okay. five guys. It's like an upgraded five. Oh. Check Geno's, out Geno's and Geno's, 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 Geno's burgers. Grub hub me. Love you all. Thank you for checking it out. Smash your pass. Fun. Let us know in the comments. Smash your pass. <laughs> 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 Thank Ray you guys for tuning in. Like, share, and subscribe. We appreciate it.